Is this really our intro? Is this really our intro? <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> I was about to laugh, but then went down the wrong fight. <laughs> We're going to start fast gas, yes, too. Ah! Welcome! <laughs> How y'all doing? How you doing? How's your mama doing? No, do that again. That kind of sound cool. How about you? One more time. Hey, 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 Dang. hey, 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 welcome to the Random Fox. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, what? <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Welcome to the random podcast. Whoa. Oh, stop. Oh, stop. What a way to start, bro. That was whoa. They can't even hear me, so give me one second, everyone. Oh, wait. Can you hear me? Oh, you're clever. Wait, y'all can hear me? Okay, there we go. Oh, man. When, okay, so for a second, for some weird reason, uh, the people couldn't hear me. Um, but they heard us though, right? Yeah, they heard, they heard y'all. They heard that. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. People was like, what are we tuning in to? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're supposed Whoa. to be doing we're supposed to be doing a God giving God time section. Yeah, yeah, yes. yes. No, that would be our what was that? <laughs> <It's> a, oops, <laughs> wrong video. <laughs> We well, getting ready. We uh, getting, ladies and gentlemen. We getting ready to be in the Bible ourselves, talking to Bell. And then they were supposed to be doing a podcast oh where they were supposed to be talking, <laughs> but they started doing butt clap noises with their hands. Wait, I yeah, realize, we, were, we were clapping our hands. I realized that was more of a pause because when, when we first did it and then we stopped, I said, no, actually, don't do that again. <laughs> I'm going to do that again, as a matter of fact. We're dude, going to get what one. is this, dude? <laughs> it did sound like some tribal stuff, though. That, you ain't going to have to lie about that. <laughs> yeah, that did sound kind of cool, That did sound some, like some tribal stuff, That's some tribal stuff, stuff. That was the, I don't even know how we did it. I got to look back on the podcast. It, like usually, and then I, I was like, like, like that. So let's go. Okay, yeah, right. let's go. No, whoa, <laughs> yeah, whoa, 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 okay. just a kick, just a kick. <laughs> Yo, Please, Clever, introduce dude. the stream, by the way. Yes, please, yes, please. Yeah, uh, 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 introduce the stream. You know, I mean, not introduce the stream. Uh, introduce bring in the stream. Bring it in, man. <laughs> Yo, one cool. day, yeah, one day, it. ladies and gentlemen, we might get it straight to DVD. We might get it straight we to might. DVD. Oh, uh, one. All right, uh, shout out that's to Brilliant really for the 50th time, time when I actually always be taking this uh, catchphrases. But anyways, um, <laughs> so uh, what's gonna say? One day we should actually do a stream though. We we should definitely live stream this one. I was actually just thinking about that. I was a like, I think live be podcast. See, okay, here's here's the thing though. I, before we get started, because I'm I'm gonna introduce ourselves and everything. I just want to say mm -hmm. before we get started, I would only stream if we actually get more viewers and people actually start caring. Because <laughs> like the only True. people. That I see consistently on here. We're gonna give you a little shout out real quick. Is uh my man's Robert, Rob Onyx. My man Rob. Yeah, Rob. Uh, he's my pretty man, much consistent man, on there. Man. Shouts out to you, my man. Uh, Tobiah. Sometimes Tobiah. I see her. Uh, Tobiah. She comes around here. And you, you see, she, we we encourage her to do her or you basically encourage her to do the uh, uh start doing her own podcast. But oh, yeah, I mean, I yeah, I mean, Tobiah, if you want to get some help, you know, let us know. Yeah. And no, here's the thing. She started it already. Oh, she did start it. Well, I didn't even know about yeah, but, this. Yeah, but something happened, and, like, she lost... I think... I forgot what she told me. I think she said something like she lost her password, so... Oh. She might got to make some home new or, or something. I forgot. I could be completely wrong, but I remember she was telling me something... Or her phone broke or something. I forgot what it Dang. was. Something happened, and she can't do it well, you know, Tobias, if you, if you want to if you want to join ours, you know, want to be part of the weekly club, yeah. You if you even go. see this, yeah. Yeah, and we'll even help so. you. Like, like if you can't ever get your like a uh, password email back, we'll be happy to. If you do make a new one, a new page, then we'll promote it on here. I'll lend you my account. Um. Yeah, here's whoa. my password. Um. 
<laughs> here's, my, here's my card. But yeah, here's my um, here's my social security. Here's my license. Whoa. <laughs> Um, <laughs> would imagine get hacked just for me saying social security. <laughs> I'm like, wow, the talent. But, um, wow. The talent or talented, ladies and gentlemen. They got real talent. Dude. I have real talent. All right. Um, I don't know why I was screaming. But, um, so, um, obviously, I'm Cleverstone23. You already know, every single week, the random podcast, episode eight. <laughs> And I'm joined yes, by sir. not only my my not only my cousins, but they're my they're my best friends. They're my brothers. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go from oldest to youngest, so I'm gonna say my boy C Nation boys L J or just L J. What did you? you what know? did you? What did you? What did you? What did you? And then um, you know my, my homeboy, he just did a whole new uh, he he did a, like a whole new makeover on his channel, so go check that out too. Um, yes. Silly Matt, ladies and gentlemen. Silly Matt, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, well, and he is right. My guys literally deleted every single live stream, or almost at least, almost every single live stream. I only got like one series of a live stream that I did with LJ up, and that's it, really. Yeah, um, so that means that I actually get all the exclusive rights to all of those streams that we did. And, <laughs> and honestly, that's kind of heat, bro. Really? That's actually kind of uh, heat. All those streams that we did. We only, I, I'm the only one I got it. I got it. All yeah, the GTA God. streams. On you, fam. So now when they look at your stream on January the 16th, if you do it, uh, for GTA, yeah, well, I will. they're, they're going to they're gonna be like, what, what in the world is he even talking about? And then you got to be like, ah, go to Clever's channel, ah. Like, like, yeah, like, go to Clever Stone's channel. Check, check it out. Go home. Give it a look. Learn Psalm 34. <laughs> yeah, learn Psalm 34. <laughs> Inside joke, ladies and gentlemen. Inside joke. <laughs> oh, man. All right, guys. But, um, so, LJ was taking over the stream last week, so I'm just going to take over this week. You know, it feels, oh, feels good to finally oh, take oh, back oh. what was mine in the first it is place. Our stream, <laughs> dude. It's our stream. I mean, you, you did take it. Oh, your back. Right? Yeah, it's more like me and Silly's stream, but you know, it was what we gave God time, so I can't be assaulting you like that. Man, last time they did a stream together, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's a lost footage. It's the lost stream. And they tried to do this without me. Okay, but here's ah, the thing, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to say it right they now. They couldn't. It wasn't <laughs> bad. It, it was <laughs> bad in a different that. way. <laughs> just, no, we kept, on making, no, we look, kept making jokes, look. and it was like, eh, it does yeah, not. I was, I was kind of, it was, look, for, to, to say the least, <laughs> it didn't air because the whole podcast was a was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, the whole we kept making, was we kept making more oh, jokes. Man. And the thing was, we wasn't yeah, even doing it on purpose. It just kind of kept happening. Yeah, it just kind of happened. And, here, so, and here's the thing. It's not It's not like when we was doing it, it was a whole thing. It, it's not like we were saying stuff inappropriate where it's, where it's like we talk about Mondo Gazungas and butt cheeks. Like, it's all <laughs> it was the like place. that. But it, I kind of forgot exactly what happened, but I know it was all accidental the majority of the time. <laughs> and it was kind of well by accident. And then I would tell a story, and then it would accidentally lead to something else. So basically, it wasn't on purpose. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Stick yeah, it down. So, yes, man. You know. Moral of the story is, they need Listen to this dude get mad at us for no reason. Talking about this no, 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 no. We are, we're going to take him up for the offer, and one day we got to do a podcast one-on-one, because... I would love to see that. Exactly. I would love to see a You ain't even going to watch it. You probably ain't going to watch it. You're probably going to be like, he probably talks anyway, so I ain't going to watch it. Gonna gonna watch it. I will. Yeah, probably, like, I promise I'll watch it. I mean, y'all did one without me. He gonna see. He gonna see the notification. and be like, "Hey, they finally did it. All right, I'm gonna watch that later." They never gonna watch. <laughs> I will watch it. I'm gonna watch, uh, I will watch it. I promise. Cause <laughs> I'm gonna watch that part later. <laughs> we gonna watch that part later. <laughs> and we'll talk about that later. I'll watch that later. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> hey, no more woes. No more. No more. No more. We're done. We're done. No more. No more woes, ladies and gentlemen. No more woes. <laughs> Even though there was a big old but, woe in the beginning, but um, was a big old woe. All old. right, so um, it's gonna be a little portion before we get to the main uh course. We're gonna be giving some God time now. Me and LJ, and I'm pretty sure Silly as well. Uh, LJ and Silly did their own thing. I think earlier today, right? Oh, oh no, we, we never got to yeah. today. Um, oh yeah, I didn't do it so today, after... but y'all did it by ourselves before you talked to me tonight, right? Uh no, we didn't get a chance to do it yesterday, but we did have our time like with God, like uh um before we actually uh got on this podcast before. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. So yeah. Yesterday. So in regardless, we <laughs> we both have a little time with God beforehand. Yeah. Uh-huh. So um I mean we're not gonna time this or anything, but just to say that if it seems shorter than last week or longer, you know. 
do you know why? It's because we kind of already did it earlier. But, yeah, you know, yeah. we're just going to let the lure lead us in yeah. what we do. Yeah, that, that's um, the main thing. Like, uh, it's an encouragement to everyone that wants to walk righteously, that wants to walk in Christ a little bit more better. Um, if not, if you're not walking in righteousness at all, and you're not even thinking about this, consider it. Consider it in your hearts today, because tomorrow's not promised. We all here wish for you guys to walk in righteousness as we are striving to walk in righteousness so we yep. can make it to living. Because we're not living yet. And this is just, to me, the waiting room before Christ comes back for his bride, which is our temples, which is our bodies, which is his bride, his church, that he wants to come back for that is without spot or wrinkle. And it says this in the Bible. Um, so we just take this, the lot of time, whatever the Spirit leads and however long he wants it to go, that's how we know when the Spirit's in the midst. If we do it under our own accord, it's all about flesh. But as long as we live and walk by the Spirit, we will not fulfill the deeds of the flesh. And this talks about this in the Bible. So before we even um, have this uh, meditation time, let's all go into prayer. Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you right now in the name of Jesus, thanking you, Lord, for another day that you have given us to correct the wrongs of yesterday. Lord, we ask of you right now in the name of Jesus for anyone that watches this podcast. Allow them, Lord, to see that when we have joy of the Lord on our side, when we walk after righteousness, when we chase after your glory, Lord Jesus, we do not leave without joy. We do not have any downness in our spirit, but we have hope for a better tomorrow. We have hope for the salvation that you freely give to those who want those who have need of you, those who thirst after you, God, so that way we can walk according to your will and your way, and in our walk with you, our eyes will be opened, our mind will be filled with the knowledge of the Spirit, and allowed to be partakers of your glory, as long as we deny ourselves, and come and submit underneath the Spirit of God. So as we meditate this night, before we talk about things that are of the worldliness, we ask of you, Lord, to let the spiritual <coughs> side of this podcast that we come before you, Lord, giving to you, take an overflow in us tonight. In your holy and matchless name we pray. Amen and amen. 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 Um, I have this I'm right back, book. by the way. You, oh, you, you take your time. You keep doing your thing. I just have to get my uh, charger for my phone. Yeah, take your time, man. Um, but to everyone that's watching this real fast, uh, well, just watching this podcast, I have a book, and it's called Jesus in Red, and it's 365 days of meditation on the Lord's words, Jesus' words, where he's the one who came back, and he, uh, he died on the cross for our sins, and every word he had said, we have no choice but to believe it, because he is not even a man, even though he came in man's image, he's not a man who cannot lie to us, so he's given us these things to meditate on and these scriptures to take part in our hearts so we too can walk like Jesus did to be perfect as Jesus was perfect for many people just rest in the fact that we're not perfect we can't be perfect this was a correction I had to take we can be perfect if we strive for it yeah we're we'll making mistakes we'll make a uh, we'll make a uh, little spots and blemishes on our walks with Christ but even though that we may fall and stumble we will not be utterly cast down by the righteous hand of God. We will have a chance through the blood that was shed on Calvary many years ago for your sins, for my sins, if we just walk. Does this mean to sin and then know that God will help you? No. I'm encouraging you guys that when you do have that mindset set and that mentality to go upon sin, you yourself will resist it and follow after Christ. For just like Christ was tempted inside of the wilderness when Satan came upon him and tried to tempt him with bread tempt him with riches and just tempt him to jump off of a ledge since he trusts in God enough just to go ahead and jump since you know God will uplift you go ahead and see if the Lord will lift you we shouldn't tempt God we shouldn't uh, bow before any other gods like Satan wanted him to and we should not uh, even in our fasting whenever we're because in that time Jesus was fasting we shouldn't fast and then you know be so eagerly after food, let us just go before the Lord in all things, in all ways of life, and He will direct your paths. But uh, we come today inside this book as we meditate tonight. It's for January 27th. Every single day, it's a new meditation. <laughs> and today, we're talking about the freeway chase. In John 30, uh, not 30, John 3, verse 21, it says, But he who does the truth comes to the light. 
that his deeds may be clearly seen, that they have been done in God. And this author here named Ray Comfort, he is a follower of Christ, and he is a wonderful and mighty man in God. And I encourage you guys to check out his uh, YouTube page. It's called Living Waters, and he ministers to people, and he ministers to my soul through Christ, and I hope, hopefully he can minister to you guys as well as he talks to different people on the street. Um, it's a wonderful YouTube page. You guys should check it out. Um, <clears throat> he says here in this meditation book, if you have ever seen a freeway chase, you will know that the police don't give up easily. The law hounds guilty criminals, and God's law will never give up until guilty sinners are brought to justice. What a fearful thing it would be to be arrested by death and stand guilty before the judgment bar of a holy God who knows every secret sin of the heart. He knows the secret sins. We read that this morning, right? We did read this this morning. Uh, but we, uh, every secret sin that we have, we know them. So if we know them, rest assured God knows them too. We always have to come into the Father and repent of these sins so we would not have to be arrested by death. And that's such a scary thing because when you're arrested by death uh, and you're guilty of sin, we are potentially and our fate is going to lie within the chains and the gates of hell. And I do not want that for any one of you guys. So if you have any secret sins, anyone out there, repent on this day because tomorrow's not promised. And we all must repent, even me, even my brother, even Cleverstone, any secret sins. Let's repent today, resist the devil, and he will surely flee from you. Um, it also says, in a freeway chase, it's hard to understand why criminals keep running. They are not going to get away since the helicopter is following them. Logic says they should stop running, surrender, and fling themselves upon the mercy of the judge. It is also a mystery as to why sinners keep running from God. They are not going to get away. We're not going to get away. No matter how far you run, God's there. He sees you. He wants you. And he will do anything in his power to draw you closer Any. Anything that may seem horrific to you, he's trying to gain your attention. Don't wait any longer, y'all. Don't keep on running. Mm -hmm. God will judge every work as well as every secret thing, whether it is good or evil. The plea to sinners is to stop running, surrender all, and fling themselves upon the mercy of the judge, which is God. The Bible says that God is rich in mercy to all that call upon him. And it says this in Psalm 86, verse 5. Soul searches, guys. It says here that this is actually something that you can search your soul for today. So you can examine yourself. Are you doing this? Are you uh, putting your best foot forward in Christ to do this? Are you resisting Satan? Are you resisting sin? These are soul searches, an examination of yourself. And today's soul search says, Do I have the love and courage to pray that today God will orchestrate an encounter with someone who needs to hear the gospel? Will he do that for you? Are we doing anything to allow Jesus to intervene and to orchestrate a moment in time where you see somebody that is resting and on their way into hell and you can present Christ to them before it's too late? That is the question that we give to you tonight, y'all. Let us live by the Spirit. Let us die by the Spirit. Let us be able to go out into all the world Speak life to those who are lost. That's the purpose, y'all. And then the prayer here to close up. Father, please give me a divine encounter today and the courage to share the truth. So as we end this portion off in prayer of this podcast, Lord, help us to examine ourselves. Lord, help us as we continue this podcast to not let another minute go by without thinking on the ones that need you most. For we too, Lord, may need you more than any other person. Those who think they got it, but in actuality, they don't have it. We ask of you today, God, to if there's any error in our walk, if there's any secret sin that we run away with, hiding our faces from you, shameful before your glory, we ask of you right now, Jesus, to help us and to lead us in spirit and in truth to let it go, repent of our sins, and let God orchestrate a spiritual divine encounter with his Holy Ghost. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for this opportunity. I thank you, Lord, for those who watch this podcast. We stand in the gap for those who are struggling in sin, 
struggling in addiction, struggling in temptation. <clears throat> he asks of you right now that as the stream and podcast goes on, allow your spirit to orchestrate our lives into better and righteous living. In your holy and matchless name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. We just give Amen. honor and glory to God. Um, is there anything you want to add on to that before we start talking about WWE stuff, clever and uh, silly? Is there anything y'all want to add to that? Um, okay. If not, it's fine. You don't have to. I'll just you know open up the floor. I don't want to talk too much. <laughs> no, you did. Um, very cool. Yeah, I don't um, think I... Wait, go ahead, guys. No, I was saying I think I'm good. You're good. Okay. Yeah, no, I was, I was going to say the same thing. Because I remember just reading it this morning, and I basically think I said everything that I had to really say about the situation. Mm, yeah. And I honestly kind of forgot some of the stuff that I said. But, it's uh, fine, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm fine with it, though. But as we always say, you know, glory be to God. Like, right. <laughs> glory be to God. I, so just God bless all you guys as we continue this uh, podcast. God bless you guys. <laughs> hey, I got my little uh, New Testament, Psalms and Proverbs, little Bible. Proverbs, Proverbs, <laughs> brother Proverbs, and it says, All right. and it says in Second Corinthians, oh, chapter eleven. Oh, well, okay now. I'm just kidding. All right, uh, here's the next part. <laughs> oh, <so good. laughs> Glory oh, be to God. That's all. That's all I gotta say. Glory be to God. Yeah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Yeah. All right, guys. So uh, the Ray Rumble. It is this Sunday. No, you're not controlling this podcast this time. No. I, I was saying the Ray no, Rumble. No, 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 no. We're not doing it this time. I thought you were talking about the Ray no, Rumble. No, we're not doing it this time. Did, yo, stop becoming cranky. We just praise you. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Dude, we was just praising you. No, 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 no. He ain't going to control it this time. Not this, not this week. I'm not, not even controlling it. Chill week. out. We just praise you. Give it a silly. Chill out. Give it a silly for once. Let him control it. Well. Whoa! Mm-mm. Whoa, what? So who's gonna do it? I said you. Why? Because you never control a show. You you never. We're supposed to be taking turns each week. No, I I kept the live stream on for that uh. For for, for that for, for that firearm. Are we are we talking about the Ray Rumble or not, guys? Like, like what's going on? Yes, we oh, are. I'm just saying. Talk no more, more. What are so, you cranky, dude? Just do the live stream. There's a little sneak preview of what's going to happen when they just stream by themselves later. <laughs> what do you mean? It, we'll see. See, uh, see he's trying to assault you right now. See? He's trying to solve us. I'm not assaulting you. I'm just saying. Out. Anyways, the Royal Rumble is this Sunday. Um, I wasn't attending on watching. I was so silly that I already told one of my friends. Um, shout out to uh, Mr. Pointo for those who actually uh, watch Park Awards. I was talking to him. And he was actually telling me that uh, he don't watch wrestling no more because he's not like really into the content too much. I, you know what? One of these days I want to ask Mr. Pointo if he should join the podcast. <laughs> Ooh, that'd be nice. Bro. He has a PlayStation Four. That'd be nice. I would, lo- I would love to have him. Ha- yeah, have an inter. I would love that. We can interview Yo. Mr. Pointo because ah. there's some stuff I want to like know and stuff, and I would love for it to be cool. So yeah, we're gonna try to get Mr. Pointo. Uh, for those who know about Parking Wars. He's a Detroit um, ticketer, and he uh, I think he still tickets. Yeah, he still tickets till this day. Um, oh, he still does? So, okay. Yeah, but um, definitely I want to bring him on. Uh, I would love to have him on here. He's no, a cool I guy would. to talk about. He talks about football. He talks about uh, all this stuff. He, he's a cool guy. Such a cool guy. I'm a big fan of this man. That's cool. Yeah, y'all, like y'all been, uh, y'all been <clears throat> excuse me, y'all been cool for a while. We have. It's cool to uh, oh, know somebody that you about him years admire. Ago. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, man. And um, just to, it's just cool to like know somebody that you talk to, not talk to, but somebody that you've seen on TV, and they just kind of become your friend. It makes you feel so good. Yo, maybe we can get like Tim White, yo. Tim White, guys. I was, gonna, I, was gonna, I was literally just getting ready to say that. You <laughs> what? I was gonna, I was gonna say, I was literally gonna get, get ready to say that. I was gonna say next time that whenever they, because apparently I saw on the, on Adventureland story. That they were saying that eventually, 
I think they said something pretty soon when they be- opened up their store again, so that might start back up meet and greets. I don't know how they well, do it. I'm going, but but they said but they said something eventually when they opened up their store, and they were saying something. I kind of forgot what they said, but I was going to say if we go there and Tim White so happens to be there, we need to talk to this man and ask him if he's cool with us having his number, and sometime maybe come onto the podcast or whatever. Just yeah. like that. Easy Maybe like that, my guy. I would act because we are cool more than us. cool with him. Yeah, he's cool. Oh, well. Look, y'all see Nation Boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Maybe we should have had you start doing the L. Uh. Oh, good. Oh, come on. <laughs> Maybe yeah. we should have started you doing the L. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, that, that was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stone. My man, my man had that Stone Cold head bob. That was sick. You got the man. SVR 2006 head bob. <laughs> yeah. Come on yeah. now. That's what Stop. I did now. Stop. We know people. I was going to say, look, y'all. See, Nature Boys, LJ Silly, and Clever, we know people, bro. Mm-hmm. Y'all they... thought, oh, y'all thought we generic. Wait, oh, we ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we're saying we know people. We know we only know two people. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 we, we don't, act like no, we got no. connections. No, hold on, hold on, no, <laughs> I, I, I do got connections. Hey, I know Corey Kenshin. Not only is my PSN friend, that's but true, he follows me true. on Twitter, and like we, me and him DM from time to time. I know the gamer twenty three twenty three. I know who he is, my guy. He also roasted you. Uh a little bit for your camera. Yeah, he roasted me, dude. No, but look, we still cool. It's cool. No, he cool though. He cool though. He cool though. Yeah, yeah, cool. My my brother got on him, so everything's cool now. It's what? Cool. Oh. Um, oh, yeah, I got him. Yeah, yo, cool. we, we didn't even ask. What well, we asked him? Yeah, was, we was, know people, but we don't ask look, we, people. And I was gonna say, um, oh my God. Now there's one person who ain't ever coming on the podcast. I know that. Maybe unless maybe in the future when we know each other hmm. better. But I'm just saying, people who we do kind of know. I think Gina from BF vs. GF is starting to know who I am. Still, you starting to get connections with I'm, her? I'm starting to get connections with her. If you know BF vs. GF or mainly Prank vs. Prank or PvP, it's Gina or Jen Smith or Jennifer, whatever the heck you want to call her. I'm getting slightly in contact with her. She remembers who I am from Instagram now every time when I comment, so that's kind of cool. Uh, we know people. We need to start. We know people, people now. My we need to gosh. go on Dude. and ask them. Dude, you know what, Clever? Dude. I'm gonna start promoting this podcast more so than we, I am doing. I was gonna say the same we thing. Yeah, why pop. don't we? Why are we promoting this? Stuff? Yeah, <laughs> like, why? We're, we're, we're just kind of like we just kind of like we you, do it you and we up- just upload it and then we just leave it to what it was. Exactly. You <laughs> upload it and just leave it sitting there, like people are. Like, <laughs> like, just, uh, the we were just sitting there, like <laughs> you gonna watch. Is anybody going to watch us? Like, dude, promote <laughs> You're yourself. You're just waiting. Waiting to see the response. And we get mad when we get no views. Dude, start supporting this dang on podcast. Promote yeah, yourself. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. We can do this. They're like, This is like legit. This, like, we can actually do it. This is literally random podcast. Let's do and it. And uh, Gina's into um, podcasts. She had one of her... Uh, oh. We'll so if we got her and eventually she yeah, she, she was about us she was her podcast she was, uh, stop dude. <laughs> stop you make, y'all you make stop. you make it you make it sound like we're looking for clout <laughs> no now, no I said maybe no no, 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 no I'm dude. saying like you know that sound that you know, like, you know about people getting triggered over that stuff don't say that dude no. Wait, what? You know what I mean, right, Clever? I know what you mean. Like support for support. No, no, we know what you mean, but people don't like that. I mean, no, I'm not doing maliciously, though. Like, like saying, okay, she can join our podcast, and we can join hers. I'm saying, like, in return, she might say, hey, guys, why don't you come on my podcast? I was on yours. Why don't you come on my? I'm just saying, like, that's the possibility. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 I'm like, wow. <laughs> we just went. We just went. We just went. We just went. You know. One day, my life will be complete, right? Mm-hmm. If we actually managed to get this dude, Corey Kenshin, on the podcast. Yeah, Corey can be can you, podcast, can you imagine if our that podcast would be really, That would be actually really cool. I, I would really like that. I would really that like would that. be heat, dude. That would be heat, my guy. Right? We start getting right, YouTubers. Right, right. We need I, to I make this thing that. more of a... That. We need to make this thing huge. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> 2021, we're going to places. Yeah, 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 yeah. We go nowhere. Still not supporting. <laughs> <laughs> it's the end of the year, 2022. We actually got nobody on our podcast. 
Yeah, yeah, dude. Actually, actually, we in two thousand. We in two thousand thirty. We still get no views on it. We're not doing it. It's actually worse. It's like saying that we get negative views. Yeah, like so far, uh, the uh, the disrespect to the podcast has been real so far. Oh, <laughs> oh, you've been doing it for ten years. Get on the platform. <laughs> Oh, God damn. Like, we're old, man. We're still trying to get that clown. <laughs> it's, 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 trying to get that clown. <laughs> we're, we're on the last stream. We're starting this live stream thing. thing. Uh, <laughs> I said, hey, yo, Gina. Gina, come to the podcast, Gina. Oh, uh, come on, Martin. <laughs> I said, the C Nation boys, we know people, dude. <laughs> Is the CD Nation boys oh clout chasers? <laughs> <laughs> Still on like, oh like, We know people. Like we know people. <laughs> like bro, it's been oh seven God, decades. Bro. Y'all haven't got a single person on the show, bro. Some <laughs> oh first God, bro. view. Oh, Ow. sorry. He said sorry. He says like a rock. <laughs> he he sorry. says sorry. sorry. <laughs> and if y'all wonder what just happened, Booba just hit me with like a headbutt. These little Booba plushies. They're not really plushies on the head part. Mm. Their heads feels like a rock. <laughs> it's really hard. But um, all right. So again, getting back to the topic that I was trying to oppose. I mean, uh, you know, exploit the Royal. Not Kevin Owens. He's shaking. Yeah, but you see, there's some rumors going around, and I don't know what it is. I never looked at it because I wasn't sure if we should talk about it. Because they were saying there's some scary rumors about the finish about the Royal Rumble this year. Oh yeah, I did. You. I did see that a bit earlier today. What, yeah. do y'all, what do y'all think is actually going to be though? I don't know. Uh, now, hold on, before we say this, y'all. Um, oh my gosh! Please don't let Brock win the thing, man. I'm saying. I'm saying. I, I didn't say. I didn't <laughs> Why you got mad at him? It had something to do with Brock. I said, please don't let Brock win the joint. No, uh, I'm just I, saying. <laughs> Because that, that, whenever it's a scary rumor, it has was, to be having to do with Goldberg, Brock Lesnar, or somebody that's like a part. Well, it's like because when they actually had the picture on it, there was like a scary rumor. It just had uh, Goldberg smiling with the title. You know, like, oh, uh, yeah, on. Goldberg, Cena, and Brock on there for some reason. I don't know. I've <laughs> Cena <laughs> win. I, I, I I've seen, don't want that, though. I would love to see Cena win. I mean, that's, that's he, you. He hasn't won a home What was his last one? He won two I think, already, though. But he won like okay. Here's the thing that doesn't make sense. Yeah, yeah. I just noticed yeah. something, but I, I know this is gonna be a little bit off topic. But speaking of Cena winning the title, Which can we just say of how inaccurate it is that they say he's gonna be a 16 time champion? Is it inaccurate? How? Well, because the thing is, is that like Ric Flair would still hold the record for like the I, I think okay. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I'm, I'm just being stupid. I think they oh, just so mean in general for, like, sense? the world title. So I was going to say, like, technically, Ric Flair will still hold the record for a 16-time world heavyweight champion. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> but John Cena will be, like, a WWE rugby champion. Or WWE oh, champion. Oh, so he would... He'll be a, so pretty much, yeah, because he held both the world and WWE titles. So yeah, but that shouldn't even count together. because they're not... They're, like, two te- they're separate titles. Title. Like, the lineage of the like, WWE World Championship is different than the WWE Championship. So, like, why in the world? I know they're both world titles, but, like, still. I mean, no, I think because they because the, they technically unified it. Because when they when they put away the World Heavyweight Champion, at first I was just the WWE Championship. But when they put it away, they turned it into the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. So, I think because it was unified and it changed it all around, right? Maybe. I mean, yeah, but, but we're talking about, fun. like, I don't know, like technicality what anyway so john cena what? won the title um <laughs> that, that took a detour for no reason just uh i just if you thought what i just said was stupid just put an any education on there no okay. no yeah. <laughs> i mean no, I, I was just saying what I all thought. right moving on uh it, why it don't we have a wallet though. Now, um, but yeah, but the reason why I said what I said before was. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't want you going on topic. This is so random. No, it's weird. random podcast. It is. Li- oh yeah, wait, here we go again. <laughs> oh, it can get more crazy <laughs> that it's going <laughs> random. We didn't know we ask the question every single week. Why? Said, we I don't know that? why this is random. It's the random <laughs> podcast. It's a bit. It's a This is so random. We gotta stop. <laughs> we why are you cranky? That's too. the title. Isn't that's is the title, dude. So 
random, dude. <laughs> so random. This is every week. <laughs> like, it's a random yeah. podcast. <laughs> it's supposed to be. This club, this club is so sketch freeze, bro. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm the one that made the name. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. All right, anyways, back Where to the title on hand. Back to the title on hand. Back to the um, topic at hand. That's what I was trying to say. Oh, yes. Um, um, I didn't want to exploit anything just in case because I know some people don't want to get spoiled, and I would be remiss if I actually spoiled anything for anybody that they didn't want to be spoiled. I don't know what it says here. But I'm not sure if you guys, should we go into this or should we just predict what the scary finish should be? Well, right, let's go I feel like they about to make I, this I don't man. care to say spoiler alert. <laughs> spoiler alert, you don't care. If they don't click like on the video, movie. that's their problem. <laughs> yeah, that's so, true, yeah. Um, I feel like Goldberg probably going to win that shit. Spoiler, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Well, it's not, it's not, it's like this is a prediction. This isn't a real spoiler. No, I'm just saying whenever we do say spoilers, so I'm just saying ahead, oh, yeah, we're going so, to say spoilers. Since, <laughs> that's since, all. since we got the okay from uh, Clever Stone, mm-hmm. uh, we're going to do some spoilers here because they're saying, well, wait, probably Wait, wait why would we look if we're trying to watch it this Sunday? Well, I'm not sure if I'm watching it. I did say I was going to watch it. I'll, I'm I, not sure. Well, the Royal Rumble. I can't miss the I Royal do. Rumble. I don't what know, What is man? wrong with you? <laughs> but these are not spoilers. Are you smiling at me just now? You're ticking. <laughs> yeah, I, I love the Royal Rumble. It's silent. You're looking at me, Rennie. <laughs> Rennie's oh, taking a Or flying. Uh, but yeah, do we? I mean, these are potential. What does it say here? Hold on. Okay, Dang, so it says the, the the article says it's from what culture, and it says WWE scary Royal Rumble 2021 plans. Um. They talk about other things like John Cena's return and Nia Jax shoots from <laughs> WWE and stuff. Because, you know, she's injuring people again. Which, I'm starting to kind of agree with. Like, Nia, you might have to go. You might have to leave. You might have to, <laughs> have to leave. But, um, <laughs> I'm not sure, man. Let's just see what they have to say here. Uh, we're going to see if this is from. Wait, hold on. So we stick with uh, the Royal Rumble for our secondary story. Talking about WWE opted to have Edge declare for the match rather than showing up, which was weird. I mean, now thinking about it, having Edge announce that he's going to be in the Royal Rumble, that took away from the element of surprise. Why would they reveal it? Well, Edge said, because he posted about it on Instagram, and he was like, he was saying everything, and then somebody commented saying they would rather him to surprise or whatever. I agree, too. But he was saying that, so it kind of makes it weird, because I don't know if it is or if it isn't going to happen, but I don't know. But Edge replied saying, uh... Uh, he he said he did it because, um, because ha- he didn't want to redo something that just happened last year, and especially because uh, what's it called people apparent apparently is not going to be in the arena and or stadium. So it's so it's kind of confusing on if they are going to have it or okay. not. So he was saying he didn't want to do it and it wouldn't get the pop that it would if the crowd was there. there, there so was no something like there, that. He was saying. Way. I think Ed, honestly, I do edge on that <laughs> one thing. Um, the part about him saying that uh, he didn't want to repeat a return from last year, which I agree with, mm. but regardless, Edge is going to get a pop. Like, yeah, Edge is uh, back from a life-threatening injury. He's going to get a pop. I, I, I think it was because of the fact that it will be silent, so it will be kind of weird for him. Like, I think they're maybe they were like, oh my gosh, <laughs> it's I mean, I Edge. Like, Edge is back. Right, exactly. Back. And I can stand there, it's odd. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're right, you're so right. I th- that's the only reason I feel like maybe actually I, I felt like it was worse during the performance center because at least in the Thunderdome they do have like sound effects. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, like true. in the performance center that zone was dead silence. <laughs> yeah, that was odd. Dude's yeah. like it's Edge. You get ring. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> you hear the arena effects and no one's there. <laughs> it sounded like I was listening to a tape. And they forgot to actually like, say anything. Dude, they would just let the tape roll. Like, it sounded like, it, it sound like we was listening to a fan's reactions or something. Like <laughs> yeah. It's <this> Edge. <laughs> Here's the rain. Say okay, something. Um, I don't know. I could say something. Okay, so they're not actually saying 
what's going to happen, but it's scaring people to death. I don't know what's going to happen in the Men's Royal Rumble, bro. Huh? It says here in this article from... Uh, it's got to be about Goldberg, bro. I don't know, because they're not saying anything, so it's not really... Oh, they might be like saying Goldberg's going to win the Rumble! Who Who is this? Is this from E! Entertainment? I think it's from... It's from some guy named Troy L. Smith. Cleveland.com. From Cleveland.com, it says... We're just a few days away from the Royal Rumble, the only WWE pay-per-view that can rival WrestleMania in terms of anticipation, and apparently there's reason to worry. And the reliable wrestling news outlet Wrestling Votes, I mean Wrestle Votes, tweeted out Tuesday that it has a source worried about the potential finish of this year's Royal Rumble for the men. Uh, there's a finish, and, and I quote: "There's a finish that scares the death out of me." Wrestle Votes quotes a source or as saying. And it's legitimately getting heavy consideration. There were no specifics offered, including including whether the source was referring to the men's or women's Ray Rumble match. Though we're guessing the former is a safe bet. So, I don't know, bro. It's a finish that scares people. I think it's probably like a Brock Lesnar thing. It's weird because... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's weird because, like, <laughs> this is the first time when they're actually saying a rumor or whatever, but they're not actually giving yeah. any spoilers on what it is. Yeah, dude, that's what scares so, me So now. it actually really is, like, we're going to be watching it this Sunday not knowing what in the world it is. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 oh, my it, God. Yeah, I watch it. Yeah. And it's not, like, a scary of, like, oh, I hope my favorite superstar wins. It's a scary, like... I don't want this to happen, Skip. <laughs> this is scary. Suck, suck, this is about to be another Charlotte type of joint, bro. Yeah, that one year when Charlotte won the Rumble, I got so ticked. Yeah, that was last year, too. Yeah, because, dude, dude, yeah. Cause, dude, <laughs> oh, y'all I, mad. I remember I, I remember I was so ticked when Charlotte won because something told me. First of all, something told me she, I already knew. I found out she was going to win. As a uh, promo, you yeah. called it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I called it. Because, yeah. look, I, I was, like, re- like watching the show, and I didn't find out she was going to win through spoilers from the internet. Nah. Mm-hmm, no. Charlotte's promo. No. <laughs> <laughs> this will, Whenever they be, make this whole big thing, and honestly, I have speculation that maybe Ed would win or he would get close, but some chase is going to happen now that they're mm. rumoring some stuff. But the thing is, Charlotte... She made this whole promo saying, say, I forgot what she was saying. She, uh, now, don't quote me on this, but she was saying just something like, for instance, just for example or something. She was talking about something like her legacy or whatever. Or something she was saying, just something dumb. Or, <laughs> or something trying to make it a super big deal. Saying, I'm going to win that match. I was like, yeah. congratulations, Charlotte. She won. <laughs> I was like, she won. She won. I was like, I already knew. And then they tried to fake us like, oh, maybe she's going to lose in the ending. Whenever she was fighting whoever was last Shana in the Beasley. rumble. Yeah, but the she was fighting Shana. Shana. The thing I was about like, so it she ain't beating her. The thing about yeah, it, too, so. is that, like, if they was going to build her up, Shayna Baszler, that is, why didn't they just have her win the Rumble and then have Becky Lynch go into the chamber and defend her title? Because we see. knew that Shayna Baszler, it was even more obvious that Shayna Baszler was going to win the chamber match a month yeah. later or so, whatever the heck uh, Limited Chamber happened. And that was more obvious, and then Becky Lynch was just, you know, just there in the background, just chilling. <laughs> but it would have yeah. made more sense just to have Shayna Baszler win and then have Becky Lynch go after her and then just have Charlotte Flair just randomly go to NXT and just attack her. That could still happen, but she didn't have to win the Rumble. That that really yeah, didn't matter really didn't that. at all. That triggered me. I hate it. Because I already knew, and I didn't want her to win anyway because I'm t- I legit, I am sick of seeing Charlotte's face inside the women's style division. Look, I know y'all got a bunch of titles because it's one women's division. But, like, do something else. Yeah. Get, 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 out of the, get out of the main women's title picture, bro. Like, it just gets to a point where it's like, how many times are you going to win this title, girl? Like, it's annoying. I mean, if I had it my way, I would love to see more women's championships implemented. Like, get us a U.S. women's yeah. championship. Give us that. A women's U.S. title. We already have the women's UK title. Implement that more, but they can't kind of right now because of COVID. But um, like even with like you know uh, women's uh, like like a secondary women's main title, but it would be like a cross branded type thing, like how the Euro- like the UK title is, but it's like European and stuff. Like more stuff for the main roster, like Dana Brooks. 
a jobber title. Like Dana and Dana. Mm-hmm. Peyton Royce for right now because he's getting jobbed out now. Billy Kay. All these people that can be used but aren't being used. Give, Give them a, a title. Bro. Get more women onto My your show, God. as a matter of fact. Diversity. <laughs> Get. Ladies and gentlemen. Take the suckers from the tr- from thing on Performance Center. I know they're still training. I know they're probably not top tier right now. But throw them in the ring when they know the cameras are on <laughs> yeah. and just see what happens, WWE. <laughs> Cause I, cause do you, I can't stand looking at when they would just have the WWE superstars as, like, uh, what's it called? As the crowd members. And yeah. it's so many of them that you don't even know, but you know they're wrestling in the performance center. I mean, just throw them in the ring and see what happens. I just mean, they got happens. they got they got a few people. It's just they kind of use them for different things. No, I'm saying get more though because it seems like the repeated matches all the time, and it's like well, no, that's what I'm saying. It's though. like they just don't really use anyone. That's what. Yeah, like, exactly. Sure. So just throw new faces in the WWE. Just like, uh, do something. Look how long it took for them to use. Um, what's your name? Uh, I think it's a Zack Ryder's wife. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, that girl that had a broken wrist now. I forgot her name. Though. Chelsea. Or Chelsea Green. Yeah. Uh, Chelsea Green. She was okay the entirety of the time before that match. She broke her wrist, and then they used her like months later when she was called up. Like they, she was supposed to have been called up, but they did not use her. Even now. What makes you take so long? I don't what know. They say doing? they don't have nothing for them, but. Your content is revolving around the same boring stuff. I mean, stuff. to be honest with you, uh, to be honest with you, I mean, is it really that bad that no one gets called up? True. True point. <laughs> I mean, for the main <laughs> roster, even... yeah. But for uh-huh. them, for their career sake, I think it's better that they just stay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know it's not like, really a hot take, right. you know, at this point, but <laughs> it's true. I think it's better that they stay there because, like, at least, at least with them over there in NXT or whatever, at least they'll actually have a career to a certain exactly. extent. Exactly. You get a big storyline. On the main okay, roster, you know, they probably use you for like one week like, oh my, it's <laughs> them. And then two weeks later, they're getting jobbed out. Like, I don't care about that. Yeah, I don't, that what's the point? I, I don't even want to get excited no more. Because like the last that time, true, yeah. I think the last year where we actually had like some people who came up and actually like made an impact was probably like 2000... I want to say 16 or 17 was like the last that time the last there was actually like call ups that actually like mattered. And um, even then, like you got Shinsuke Nakamura, he got caught up a while ago around that time. It was around, what was it, 20, 2017? Yeah. He got called up. It was up. like 2016, like the end of 2016. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got called up. And then now, look what he's doing. You know, barely doing anything. I mean, he's doing stuff, but it's like. This dude They're was in a main event back. match with AJ Styles at WrestleMania, even though he hit him in his nunchucks at the end. But still, <laughs> it's like, point of the matter, he was in a main event spot. He won the Royal Rumble and everything, and then now look what he's doing. It's like, how do you have a superstar? And actually, I'm sorry, I'm about to go on a rant real quick. But how do you have hey, someone to that caliber? And I'm not even a smart. You know. y'all, y'all can even hear me. I'm not even a person that's like, oh, the indie guys, the hippity flippity guys got to win all the time. I'm not even that kind of person. They will tell you that. But I'm just so tired of seeing WWE for no apparent reason whatsoever. Take up these people and then just do nothing with them. Like, it's really not that hard just to find somebody. You had a, you had a superstar right there in Shinsuke Nakamura. Even in Sami Zayn, for instance. Uh, you know, all these different kind of call-ups, and it's like, you just kind of, like, either uh, <laughs> wait till like, the last second to do stuff, and then at the last uh, second, people don't care about them no more. Like, Braun Strowman, last year, when he bored uh, the heck out of me last summer. Uh, no, and oh, then, oh, you, man, got, he's crazy. <laughs> and then you got... <laughs> then you got all these other calls. I, I'm just tired of it. I'm sorry. It's just... I'm tired. Uh, uh, you're just speaking... You're taking the, the voice of every single person. That's just, just stupid. At the content, and you just diluted it out just and you now, know, so everyone's and, thinking you. And you know, the funny part <laughs> is, sorry sorry to blow your ears out, ladies and gentlemen, but <laughs> I know they'll think me. But let me just say this. Cranky, I just want to say, I, I'm not even right. like a person to rant about wrestling, because I was literally just looking at a YouTube channel. I'm not going to say who, but they get on my nerves because they rant all the time, and it's like, okay, you can chill out <laughs> a little bit. Like, it's not, uh, who, the I mean, it's guy? bad. Don't get me wrong. The show's kind of bad, but it's not to be, you know, uh, you know, your veins popping out of your head for it. <laughs> but, um, what was I going to say? But, but with this is like, I, that's the reason why I just don't 
feel anything or like I just don't even want to watch. <laughs> I mean, you know, because because yeah. that's what made me stop watching. Because like instead of me coming on here screaming like that or getting hype and mad, you know, I stop watching. But you my know, man turned into I, I had to say it because we was gone. talking about it. We was, we was talking about wrestling. My my man, my man turned up straight. In, uh, my man turned straight up into Cranky Kong, bro. Because it's what ticking. It's like. It's like they don't even try. <laughs> like and I and I know oh, I know like with certain areas you look at the past and it's like, you know, <laughs> nostalgic glasses, not everything was perfect. But it's like Black. <laughs> <laughs> what is that mean? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, that's how funny it took it at the same time. <laughs> it's that black. It was super oh, perfect. No. It was like it was like perfectly on time. Cause it's like, Sorry, my Nick. <laughs> <laughs> like how's that perfect timing? That took Sorry. me off. That's the perfect timing that was. I mean, Sorry. what we were saying was true, man. I mean, all these call ups, they've lost their savior, and they've lost their excite, exciting factor because we know the outcome of NXT people. You get called up, that's the end of your career, my guy. <laughs> Ask uh, Lars Sullivan. Just add, even though it's where not, is Lars, bro? Uh, again, they dropped him again. <laughs> Are you serious? But you see, that is a very um, touchy subject though, because partially it is his fault. A huge chunk of it is his fault. Why? Um, what uh, allegations. Um, oh wow. Uh, he was like talking, like suggestive to people online, racial things. A lot of stuff Lars did. I don't know all the story, but I do know that he has done things, so we're going to from that, but, um, and the other thing that we will not speak of, uh, <laughs> no, why? it just, it just, it's like a lot of pushes has been, like, people that had a big push in NXT and they had a big following, Bobby Roode, Shinsuke Nakamura, wait, where is Bobby one. Roode? That's another attack, one, people don't understand. Out. Let me let you know this right now. Oh, I'm about to go on another rant. I'm cringy again. Oh. Uh, said, here's what people need to understand. Oh, you, 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 you need to become finished? president. <laughs> Wait, are you doing over there? Let me go first. <laughs> Yo, you need to become the spokesman for Joe Biden, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh. Well, listen, Stop listen. Here. Listen. Th- this is um, Bobby Roode. Let me just say this. I was a big fan of TNA. Huge. Or just like Spongebob said to uh, Kevin on the episode, I was his biggest fan. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Hi, like, I was Kevin. his biggest fan. TNA. Bobby Roode. I seen him go through the ranks to a certain extent. You know, get get to the top. Now, remember, uh, I remember when, you know, he, he got to the top, he became world champion. He was with, I'm off the chain. That yeah, Ticket Behind I'm theme song. I'm off the chain. <laughs> that was a Ticket Behind song. I like Barry Money song better. But anyways, I remember yeah, all yeah, that. I see. I was taking you off. Then I seen him in NXT, and I was like, no, "All right, he's He's that was on purpose, actually. I see him in NXT. I him in NXT, and he was cool. You know, like I was excited. I was like, "Man, Bobby Roode in WWE. I can't wait to see what he does." Then he goes to the main roster, and I'm like, "Oh, we about to be cooking." And this oh, dude, man, what has he done in the past three years, ladies and gentlemen? Well, let's see. He's um jobbed out. He teamed up with Dolph Ziggler in this tag team. I forgot what even the name was. I don't even think they even knew what the name of the team was. I don't even think he had a name for the team. They do, but I forgot. So I know he's in with Chad Gable, bro. At one point, but he's Dolph Ziggler's partner. He's, yeah, he wait, was with Chad Gable at one point, but that joint, yeah, like what was that for? That was taken because Chad Gable, he took me so off with that robe, by the way. <laughs> oh, my gosh. There's so many things taking me off about just talking about this. But, like, Chad Gable took me off with his long hair and having the robe on. I don't know why that took me off so much, but him wearing it just took me off. I don't know why it did. <laughs> it just, it's personal problems. I know. It's personal rant. But... <laughs> it was just ticking to seeing him because he was like, oh, let me mimic it. I'm trying to mimic it. He's all off beat. He's all off sync because he's trying to mimic it on time with Bobby <laughs> yeah, Roode. Uh, like, why are you trying to do with Bobby oh, Roode? Like, Bobby yeah. Roode needs to become the world champion. He needs to go Honestly, and try to become most... and try to do his own thing, not be standing with you looking at you trying to be the little Jimmy of Bobby Roode. Honestly, yeah. that was one of the most <laughs> oddest teams, bro. 
<laughs> one of the more That's weirder pair ups. <laughs> bro, why did they paired, bro? The only team that actually fits. You see, why did they air? Oh, yeah, yeah, the only person who fit was him and Shelton, yeah. Yeah, no, that was that, really cool. I, I did I did like that tag team. I did like that tag team. Yeah, just they didn't uh, give them what they deserve. They put on great matches. They didn't use them enough. Five star. Beautiful. I just want to say something else, though. This is actually not a rant, though. But, um,. I just want to get your opinion on this, because I've seen a lot of people say this recently, and I kind of do agree a little bit. Do y'all think? Like, wait, 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 hold on. I'm I'm sorry. The 2K music is dank right now. Give me a second. Yeah, I can see that y'all playing 2K18 right now. Is that bang, 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 bang? I'm like, okay, Becky Lynch. Come on. <laughs> 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 All right, there you go. Go ahead. No, but what I was going to say was, um, I've seen those online a couple times, but. Do y'all think that in recent history, in the past five years, do you think that 2018 was the most boring year for WWE? All right, I had to refresh my memory on exactly what happened in 2018. Wasn't that WrestleMania 30, uh... 34. 34. Oh, boy! Because, <laughs> like, I was just thinking the other day, I was looking at it, and I was like... Yeah, that, that was a weak one. Cause I, yeah, because I had to think about it, and I was like... Man, 2018 was kind of boring. It was kind of boring. <laughs> well, wait, yeah, wait, you mean like as a whole or just for WWE? Yes, as a whole. Oh. WWE. Now, as a whole, I found it pretty fun. I, it was one of my cool. favorite years. Oh, so you, so you like 2018. Okay. Uh, LJ, yeah, I did. I for care. WWE. I don't care about his for opinion. W- LJ? Yeah, for, oh. Uh, um, <laughs> dude, you just asked. What the heck? Yeah, man. Oh, he met. <laughs> we I'm very. During that time, I'm pretty sure we did our. Uh, yeah, I think I think we met. Um, I think that was the year when we also met. Uh, Alistair. Was it? Yeah, that was the year when we met Alistair. Then. These dudes talking about the stuff that we. I know that was cool and all. I I like the meet and greets and everything. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about when like the whole product in itself. Oh, he wants to agree. With but you. I'm just saying. The good things that happened, I can't agree with you. Yeah, I, I can't. You can't. Like, if good stuff had happened... It was fun. Sucker, that year I found Fortnite. Unknowingly, the best season that We're not talking about 2018 as a Fortnite. We're talking about <laughs> WWE. <laughs> well, I, I had fun. fun. I thought you meant a hole. No, I meant... <laughs> No, 2018 as in WWE. Okay, I, I, I might have said it wrong, but no, WWE. Yeah, 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 go to, I literally asked this man. I asked man. I no, when like, you said no, when you like... said when you said um, when you were saying as a whole, I thought you meant like 2018 WWE 2018 as a whole because I I probably didn't no. hear. Uh, no, 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 because I it was confusing because I said at first I said wait, do you mean WWE? Do you mean WWE in 2018, or do you mean 2018 as a whole? I didn't hear that. That's what I said. That, that was my fault. That was my fault. That was, my fault. <laughs> that's, that was confusing. I was, I I was like, what is, what is Fortnite got? To, like, yes, 2018 was a cool year. I, I'm not saying oh, that we that became was cranky at oh. one another. Oh, we were cranky. All right, let's turn this stream <laughs> off. I'm done with this. <laughs> I heard these guys, dude. We yeah, ain't I doing said, this no I more. Said, no. I said, no. I found Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> he said, but I found Fortnite. That was a good year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. It was a good year. It's like, yeah. no, I'm talking about <laughs> WWE. I was like, yeah, what? Like, what? <laughs> I said, what? Uh, <laughs> oh, <no>. Miscommunication. <laughs> but yeah, uh, WWE in 2018, all I can remember is WrestleMania 34. That that junk was Red eyes. Eyes. <laughs> I remember that night we was oh. there we was watching it we was like oh this is the worst bro, <laughs> bro this was woman yelling. Oscar bro Oscar dang on tap that was weak had a uh, WWE uh, Road to Wrestlemania cutscene after the match saying you were ready for Oscar get out of yeah, here yeah you ain't nobody asked, <laughs> oh, yeah man. Road to Wrestlemania <laughs> <laughs> the Road to WrestleMania cutscene. The Undertaker was supposedly there. Somebody came up to Cena. That match was whack. I, honestly, I, I thought Cena, dude. We waited <laughs> so long, many years, to see Cena and Taker, the one from now, battle it out, and you suckers give us a squash match. Ain't no one asked for that. <laughs> like even Shimmy Man and Undertaker went on longer than that. 
<laughs> That's what I'm. Yeah. How you gonna make Shane McMahon? This dude's a dang on weak link. Go in a long behind goaded match with Taker, and then you get the Beast Super Cena, and you get that three. I don't even make sense, well, bro. And, and he was in the best dude. shape that year. That's the cool part. John, I mean, I just got to true. But what Booker T was saying, I was listening to one of his podcasts, and he was saying something that oh, it's mm-hmm. not, kind of true. I agree with him on this. And he was saying that Undertaker and Cena had really nothing to prove uh, in the match for to make like a five star classic. Uh, it was just what it was, and um, it was actually the best thing to do, especially with Undertaker's age and stuff and stuff. But y'all right, he wasn't he wasn't his best. Well, the thing that confused but it's not the same Undertaker. True, but here's the thing that confuses me. If that's the case, and we know they put on five star matches, which is why we want the match, make the match a five star match. We just want to see the fight. You're right. I, I get this here, Booker T. Now, you see, the thing is that it would have been a five star match. Yeah. <laughs> it's, not, it's not about what they can prove, it's literally just. It's not about what they can prove to the fans or just one another. It's literally just because we want to see this dream match happen. That's literally it, bro. That's literally exactly. all. I don't care if it went on. I don't care if it went on for one minute. Like, when, when, and it somehow was goaded. He like, made this man see get squashed. Man. Like all, like all, they, all he had to do was just have Undertaker come in there, make John Cena look shocked, and then like. John Cena tried to pull off a couple moves, but he fails, and then Undertaker does, does a tombstone. One tombstone, by the way. And then just pins him. <laughs> That's all he had to do. I, actually, no, he lost to a choke slam. How dare. No, I think he lost to tombstone. No, it was a tombstone. Nah, he, he had, like, no, no, he, he, he hit the. Uh, I gotta look this up. No, it was a tombstone, know, wait, and Undertaker no, looked like his chest was caved in. Yeah, that's right. I forgot. Never mind. It was the tombstones. Nigga, it is. His chest was kind of was kind of disturbing that year. I ain't gonna lie to you, but um, <laughs> I'm sorry, like, Taker. It, it was, was like a, big, it was a little uh, disturbing. Well, okay. My man looked like a kangaroo, like stepped in the middle of his chest, bro. It was like, dang, disturbing. <laughs> what is wrong with this dude? <laughs> Why do we like this? I <laughs> these no, dudes. Know. We talking about? Yeah, I said, well, his chest gave me. You I'm said sorry. it looked like a kangaroo I'm stepped sorry. in his chest. Taker, I'm sorry. I was just blown. Respect <laughs> Taker, though. Respect. Why wow. somebody go into our guys and be like, if they ever did, they'd be like, you're going to disrespect a legend like Undertaker? Like, dude, we love Undertaker. Oh. Chill out. Bro, we just, look, it's all funny games. It's it's all funny. Joke. Oh, come on, LJ. Sorry, yawn. <laughs> so you summon, <laughs> summoning God. Grandpa is the gentleman. It's a <laughs> All right, so owl. I want to <laughs> ask you guys a question. Now, uh, this regarding the Royal Rumble, because um, to be honest with you, I have no predictions. I have ran it on about how much the product sucks, so I'm just going to do this instead. So that. no, I'm playing. We're actually going. We're actually going to be doing some pre- predictions, but I do want to ask some questions first. Um, okay, go ahead, man. Now, in your lifetime, so that means with you, LJ, that will be ninety-seven till. Uh, 2019. I mean, 2020, and then me from 2000 to 2020, then silly to 2004 to 2020. Uh, in our lifetime, who is our favorite uh, Royal Rumble winner? Mm. Or who is the best, in your opinion? Man, uh, the first one that actually kind of rings out in my mind. It sucks Lord too. It's, it's a couple. Want... It's a couple actually. <laughs> The two that actually stand out to me, to be mm-hmm. like Stone Cold in school. But let me just say my winners. The winners I think stand out because I, I don't know which one is better. Was Chris Benoit and Shinsuke Nakamura? Because Ooh. Shinsuke Nakamura came at a time where the Royal Rumble was always predictable. Now you knew who was going to win, you knew uh-huh. exactly what was going to happen. That Royal Rumble. You did not have a clue when you saw the final six. Rey Mysterio, Cena, Reigns, Randy, Finn Balor, and Shinsuke. You did not know. Mm-hmm. And then when it was the final two between Reigns and Shinsuke, uh-huh. you automatically thought Reigns was going to win. But when we saw Shinsuke throw that brother over the top, it was a great moment in this generation. But you know, the Ruthless Aggression era, I think Chris Benoit being number one or two and taking out the big show like he did, it was cool. Very cool. 
You know, um, it's kind of interesting that you just said those two, and those two actually both happened in Philadelphia. Yo, really? Yeah, they're actually in the same stadium. That, that's actually weird. Yeah. Oh, oh, hey, oh I even my know. God. He's crying. I'm mad Mr. Shinsuke won then. We should have been in attendance. Hey, you want to know what's funny, y'all? Hold on a second. We're, I'm about to go on another rant. <laughs> you see, um, because a couple of years ago, I remember distinctly saying, hey, guys, let's go to the Royal Rumble. Go get some tickets to the 22 Royal Rumble. These two dudes, and I know it was cool because we were doing meet and greets, but these two dudes, you know, I'd rather go to the meet and greets instead of going to a live show yeah. now. And then I was like, My bad. then I was like, oh, but, but, you know, this is a once in a, well, not once in a lifetime. I mean, it ain't like that. We're going to have it again. But, yeah. but, um, like, you know, this <laughs> hey, is going to be a cool saw, moment. Hey, like, you, you know, we might see yourself. a cool moment there. You know, like the first wait, woman's wait, way no, to rumble. No, hold on, no. You just sold yourself something, too, my guy. You basically encouraged yourself. Encouraged myself what? You stated a fact on yourself, I mean. What? Yeah. <laughs> he said what? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, no, no, you said, you said, you said, uh, no, what'd you say? You said something about us, you can't couldn't get mad at that because we something about the meet and greet. No, I said I can't. No, I said um, it was cool. I didn't say I can't get mad at that. I said it was cool that we had um, that y'all was doing the meet and greets and everything. We were doing the meet and greets, but I was like, you know, let's change it up a little bit. Let's uh, go to uh, a little uh, bit. No, no you because no, for because for a while I'm going to no 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 no. You said it could happen again. It's not like it's never going to happen again. No, because at so first I was going to say it was once in a lifetime. Spoke. You but stated still, a fact. No, but that particular event you was actually once in a lifetime, a though, because we're not going to see, we're definitely not going to see Shinsuke Nakamura. We're never ever going to see the first ever Royal Rumble. No, no. The first ever Royal you Rumble. Whoa. The first ever Women's Royal Rumble. So, uh, no. uh, so it was. So it actually was once in a lifetime. I know. I, I know. I said it wasn't, but it actually technically was. Uh, yeah. uh, but who was we meeting at that time? Cause I remember. We uh, now that you brought it back to our remembrance, we made an ultimatum because we chose the meet and greet over. Oh, wait a second. I think I know what it was. It was someone we already the... met. Who was he? I forgot, but I knew it was somebody we already met. That's reason why I didn't want to go. Because I said I, I'd rather go to the Royal Rumble. Actually, no, I think that I was the... Mm-mm, no, I think I know what it was. Wait, it, what was it? I, I might be wrong, but I'm not too sure. But I think this is right, if I'm not mistaken. I feel like it was in the same time span. But I think it was... When we was doing all, it was multiple meet and greets happening, and then I remember you stayed over at our house, and so happened the Royal Rumble was happening at that same time, so you stayed to watch it, but we went to meet multiple superstars, like going to Icons of Wrestling, Adventureland, and everything. I think that was the same time, if I'm not mistaken. It was, because it was in January, and I was Mm -hmm. starting to think about it. Yeah, so it was multiple meet and greets happening, and that's why we didn't want to go to the Rumble. Yeah, but I still wanted to go to the Rumble. But, um, well, I couldn't help you, Clev. Sorry. Actually, I could have helped myself. I could have just went by myself and just went with my. Went with yeah, my but you want but... to see the people with us, so don't start. This dude really thinks. Man, go, my, man three year, my man, three years late to this nah, topic, my guy. Dude, yeah. I would talk about this three start. years ago. It's just, like, it's just like I didn't want to talk about it hey, no listen. more. Hey, listen. At that time. About how I, I still am about salty, but you know what? I still am salty that we didn't go to the Royal <laughs> <laughs> You know, there, I, said back, I think we made a fatal mistake. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I think that was that's a regret that I forgot about, but you brought it back to the Royal Yeah, then, and then silly, and silly, I all gonna be like, silly, all gonna be like, silly, all gonna be like, yeah, but we went to the Legends thing. You want to see with us? So yeah, but uh, what happened at the Legends bro. thing? We barely met anybody. <laughs> so uh, yeah. <laughs> It's okay. Ray Rumble should be coming back to Philly sometime soon. Maybe. Maybe. No. You just want to bring up mistakes. <laughs> no. no. You see, since you want to bring up mistakes. Ha ha. No, we ain't doing that. You know what? <laughs> no. This dude. You know what, my man? No, oh, bro. I don't even know where you're going to go with this. You know what, my man? Anyways, how come? 
how come you didn't want to make it to WrestleMania with us? Like, you know what? I'm going to go next year. We're in lockdown. What do you mean you want to go next year? Oh, what no, 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 no. I got to re- go no, no, come back for that. No, I got to come back for that. You should have never bunged that up. You should have never bunged that up. We're going to put this out right here on the podcast. We're going to tell you the whole story right here, baby. We're going to tell you the whole story right now, baby. This is going to happen right now, baby. Hold on. This is the cranky cat. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you the whole story of WrestleMania 35. You should have never brought that out. I'm gonna tell you the whole story of let's WrestleMania go. 35. Let's go. No, listen. Let's go, my man. Now, for <laughs> weeks and weeks, I lied to you now. For weeks and weeks, because <laughs> I wanted, we wanted to go to WrestleMania, right? So I was Isn't saying, it? okay, guys, because actually at first I was the one that was actually getting ready to buy the tickets because I remember I was at work and I kept on looking at my phone like, hey guys, I'm about to get the tickets right now. Do you want to do it right now or not? I got these seats right here. I'm looking at it. Yes. <laughs> and y'all was like, mm, you know what? I don't really want to do those seats. Or um, yes. let's move over there. And I was like, okay, hold on. But, sorry, I had some food in my mouth. That was disgusting. But, <laughs> but also, <laughs> but also, <laughs> my boy T-Dog, our man T-Dog, he was coming there with us. So, <laughs> after a while, we were going to go yes. and everything. We was going to get Tyler. Uh, my boy Tyler with us, who's going to go. And these dudes, you know, they picked some seats and everything like that. And I had to wait on Tyler to see what was going on. Now, this wasn't Tyler's fault or anything like that. It's just it's still early on. So it wasn't anybody's fault. You know, it's still early on. But after uh-huh. a while, after I kept asking for different spots, and then after a while, because after a while, y'all was like, you know what, never mind. We're just not going to go, you know, whatever and everything like that. And I was like, okay, you know. Forget about it. You know, I don't I don't want to go without these guys, you know. <laughs> so then But wait, we never said we wasn't gonna go. No, for a little small period of time y'all wasn't gonna go. Y'all was just gonna go to Access. Yeah, we were Oh that, wow. We were in that struggle of if we were going to Access or Mania. Yeah, we were but just going to go to Access at first. And then I was I like... That whole time then, at, then at first That's I was right. like, mm, okay, fine. We, we can go to Access. Because it was still kind of cool. Like, no matter what. You know, yeah, we were still in the air. So like, it was yeah, cool it was still. Cute. Don't get me wrong. You know, but I still wanted to go to WrestleMania. So, I went over that. I went over that. I was like, okay, WrestleMania is clearly not going to happen. We're just going to go to Access. These dudes, weeks later, like, probably, like, I think it was maybe, maybe like, four, three to four weeks before the event happened. And these dudes want to be like, yo, let's get these tickets right here. But at that time, I'm thinking, okay, I'm only paying for Access now. So, I don't have money for WrestleMania. So, oh gosh, so no, we was right there. It was earlier than that. We no, it was no, it things. was like the month before. It was like right there because I, matter of fact, I know what happened because I went to Raw with uh, my boy Tyler as well. I went to Raw with T Dog because I was gonna yeah, do because at first that. I was saving I up for that. WrestleMania and Raw, but I went to Raw and I paid something else off. So okay, <laughs> so. When my thinking, when my mind thinking like we're not going to WrestleMania, then y'all be like, at the last minute, you know, what, let's go to WrestleMania. And I'm like, okay, I thought we were just doing access. He was like, no. So for like a couple of days, we was like, okay, we're we going to do these tickets, we're going to do that. Y'all decided to do those tickets, and I was like, okay, you know, y'all just go without me. Just, just whatever, it's fine. Because, because I, I, it was too late, and I, and, and I didn't have anything yet. So man, okay. and, and that's the thing. It sucks because on our end, it was crazy because it was like we were in a wrestling match with emotion, <laughs> uh, our spirituality. Because I rem- I, I'm pretty sure you remember, so- well, Silly, um, that when we were actually trying to get the tickets at first, then we told mom and dad, I couldn't get the tickets on my own because I didn't have the money for it. And I knew I had to ask dad. So we were totally under the utilage of dad. And he wasn't really sure about mania. Mom was scared because she's not fond of stadiums because of, like, you know, bombings and, you know, terrorist attacks. <laughs> terrorist attacks. <laughs> That's all she was thinking about. So it was just a wrestling match. One day we were going to go. Um, the next day they was like, no, nah, I'm not sure if the Lord wants this. And I was like, all right. So I just kind of, like, remembered that. And I was like, okay. And the next day he was like, you know what, the Lord's okay with this. You can go. And another day, it's like, nah, I'm, I'm not sure about it. So it was a weird time. It was actually annoying. It was, man, a, ladies and gentlemen, long story short, it was a weird time that led to them going to WrestleMania set of me, even though I'm the one <laughs> that did, was yeah. raging the whole entire thing. <laughs> long story short. It turned into that. <laughs> and I was trying to turn it 
And we we finally, once we I finally even, stepped in, I was like, I can't keep on going back and forth like didn't this. Then we even offered to hand over money to you know, a little bit of money in case if you no, yeah, you, you left no, they out. offered me, and like you know, we, it was a sweet thing. It was a sweet thing. But y'all offered me to go sit on the other side of the stadium and just so we could just be together. Now, can you imagine us leaving the stadium that. and I'm by myself but trying, no, <laughs> trying to walk out of the stadium and we're trying <laughs> to meet up? It. Can you imagine that? that we would have been there. That wasn't me. Instead of y'all being there for two <laughs> hours, it would have been four hours. Y'all would have there. Because y'all, we were trying yeah, to find right, each other, right, then we're yeah. going to have to try to find our ride. So that would have been a long, long yeah. time. Moral of the story is, Zoo. I was kind of still in that mindset, like, my gosh. I'm not sure what you. How, how old was I then? Just 20, right? I just turned 20. It so, was 2019, okay. right? So 20, 21, going on 22. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I was 21. I just was kind of officially entering into manhood. I was still super nervous. Wasn't 100 percent sure, certain. It was a weird situation. If I could take all that back and be the uh, LJ that I am now, it would have probably been so different. And it's so funny too. Like I kind of regret that day still. And it's. You it know what, nice man? You should people. never, you should never regret it, man. Because you know, it, it just wasn't the time. God, that, that wasn't the time for me to go. You know. Yeah, that's how I look but still, at. it you doesn't know? change the fact for me. You know how I feel about that. I wish we could do something different. I no, you like can, okay. Listen, like you can like stop like feeling guilty about it. Like I know I just went in on y'all <laughs> because silly thought he had me right there with the WrestleMania thing. But I, you know, I was able no, to you know no, tell but the whole hey, story. No, I still got you because at the end of the day, this don't add up because the majority of the reason why this kept happening because our mom was afraid. Dude. No, <laughs> no, we don't have to turn the attention. Oh, right. don't, don't blame your mom on this. Don't, don't blame. No, your mom I love you. No, he doesn't no, no, it no. Fault. I, I, Ah, <laughs> uh, he's mad. Because that, that was during the times where, like, Ariana Grande was at concerts and people yeah, were like, yeah. bombing. So she was very that scared. Was, that was pretty and, recent. You know, it yeah. was very recent. So it, we were just wrestling with that fact. We always went. That's why in the beginning when I was saying this, we led up the spirit of everything. I'm talking about everything. Like, WrestleMania events. If you want to go to them, consult with the Lord first. Let him lead you. If you don't get the tickets, you never know. It might be for a purpose. It might have, you probably would have been in an argument there. Yeah, like the coronavirus when I was getting ready to get WrestleMania 36 tickets. Exactly. Thankfully, you didn't do that. I'm so happy because y'all was about to book hotel stuff, and y'all would have lost a lot of my money. <laughs> Just like me and uh, Silly lost money because we were about to meet the Undertaker in New York, and then Corona hit the whole entire big event down there. Oh, yeah. yeah. We was about to meet... Then you go there, bro. We was about to watch Impractical Jokers live. Bro, I'm so mad. Oh, yeah. Man. That's true. Did y'all get a refund for it? Man. Or did y'all... Yeah. Yeah, we oh. did wind up getting a refund. Okay. Luckily, Impractical Jokers, they're so cool, they always ref... Their shows always refund people. So that was cool. Um, yeah, I, I kind of wish they gave us a refund of free tickets for their next show. Yeah, they said but for they their next do. book show in the future. Yeah. But uh, next time, next time. Maybe one of the guys will. Cause when they, when they a do too. a show, please let me know about it. I, I'll let you know. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Because I was telling uh, Silly that usually on their live shows, they really go in depth with like the cuss words, like the profanity and stuff. Man, maybe it was for a good cause that we didn't go to their live show. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Do you, um, like, so, do you like the duck the, sauce? Yeah. <laughs> Because I, I watched, like, I, I was on YouTube looking at their live stuff. They go in depth. I'm like, oh, chill. <laughs> He's like, let me like, tell you hey. about the the the, the inners in the <laughs> It's like, okay, dude. I didn't want to hear like, all Whoa. that tonight. I love you guys, but I didn't want to hear all that tonight. I just ate. <laughs> so for all for a good cause, you never know. Um, but anyways, after all that, um, winners. Who do y'all think is gonna win the Royal Rumble this year? Do y'all do y'all have any picks? Oh, wait, we didn't even finish off the last question. Oh, uh, yeah, about the uh, Ray Rumble. <laughs> we, we all, this yeah. is the random podcast, ladies and gentlemen. The randomness. <laughs> but um, you already answered. I just went off the deep end with something else. I don't even know. Oh, yeah, yeah it, it was uh, lead. I was saying it was both WrestleManias. I mean, it was both the Ray Rumbles, and then he was like, man, I wish I could go. And that's how we dug it. It's so, like the Ray Rumble. That's, that's what it was, because we put, we put it off the Ray Rumble 2015. Whoa, yeah. 2018. Yeah, <laughs> but silly. What What but is yeah, your uh, favorite Roy Rumble in your life? No, that's actually the original question. I, I will get back to that. Not, not to cut off the other one. I, I will get back to that. Uh, yeah, so, so, sorry, Rumble. wait. My favorite Roy Rumble. Yeah, in your lifetime, from two thousand four to twenty twenty. Oh, I thought you were saying Roy Rumble winners. So I may have answered wrong then. I mean, no, that was in your lifetime. Oh, okay. So okay. 
Do you, and mean, you don't mean like the show as a whole else, or, or the, the match? Still right. <laughs> Were you talking about like the uh, the match as a whole or just the whole show? No, you're the winners. No, your favorite. Win- okay, got you. Okay. What about you, Bubba? Who's your favorite? Oh, I thought you were going to go again. In your lifetime of living, who won your favorite? I mean, what was your favorite Royal Rumble with somebody? Won? So, the, winner, the winner that you like. From 04 to 2020. That range. Okay, so 04 to 2020. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm not even going to cap with y'all. I don't even remember the majority of the winners like that. <laughs> um, There's somebody that you remember. Uh, definitely Shinsuke would have to be number one. I enjoyed that one. Um, I enjoyed that rumble with him winning. Uh, oh! Shinsuke is definitely one of them. I like that one. Um, and the other one, what would be the other one? I try to kind of like think back. I Roman it was cool, but Roman was just sad. I felt bad. <laughs> <laughs> I felt bad for Roman. Yeah, to be honest. I felt really bad. I, I felt terrible for this man. He tried his best. Uh <laughs> oh, this man, up, um, <laughs> this this man Batista winning. I felt bad for him, bro. Yeah, uh, the best choice. I was gonna call him and then just like booed the mess out of him. That's so weird. Um, you think it'd be like, yeah, he's coming back, yeah, and then boo. Yeah, that, was, but you, you thought Batista was a good one? No. Oh, if there was a year for Roman Reigns to win, it should have been 2014, actually. Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns. Gets in you. Gets in you, dude. <laughs> He's the beast. Oh, no, no, no. Gets in you. It's Roman Reigns. Chris Benoit. Chris Benoit. I said Chris Benoit. <laughs> I said Chris Benoit. <laughs> no, we were playing around saying if his name's like that, Wiss Winma. <laughs> I keep on saying Wiss Ma. What the heck? <laughs> Wiss Winma. <laughs> he said, Yo, I'm sorry. I keep on saying no, it's silly. My bad. Um, if I had to pick. Man, also, who's my other one? You can also say you don't have one. True, because I don't think I got Because I just said your favorite winner. I didn't say your top five, so. Yeah. I I was just actually uh, saying two, because those are two that actually really stood out to me. That was very shady, by the way. Okay, I'm (laughs) going to give you a list of winners from 04 to 20. All right. You got Chris Benoit in the year he was born. Didn't watch that one. You got Batista the first time when him and John Cena Fell out the ring together. I thought that was a cool ending, by the Man, way. Even want... though it was a botch, it was the perfect ending for both of them. Man, I want to see them. By the way, I actually do have my I actually do have my winner, and it's actually the next Royal Rumble winner is the 2006 one with Rey Mysterio. Ooh, yeah. That's my favorite because that was my first Rumble. I, I'm I'm gonna give you the other winners, but that was my first Rumble I seen live. Well, I, I wasn't yeah, there live, that obviously, because I was in Miami, Florida. But <laughs> I seen that live. You also got that one. With oh, he was capping. <laughs> I mean, I did see it live. I just wasn't there in person, but, but I did watch it live on pay per view, and oh, I remember that moment because I was like, I was like Rey Mysterio for Eddie. <laughs> Take a time off. But um, that you, wasn't you taking that you did for Eddie, but you know, it was you, cool. you, 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 you all had a double sick. chin. Chill out. And that was also weird that the Royal Rumble wasn't the main event. But anyways, um, so yeah, Rey Mysterio 2006, uh, 2007 was Undertaker. Know. Oh, wait, was John Cena? That was another good one. That's probably like my second favorite. Um, yeah. 2009 was Randy Orton the first time. 2010 was Edge. 2011 was Alberto Del Rio. Boo. <laughs> I was really hoping. That Royal Rumble. That I really one, I'm sorry. That Royal Rumble is red to the <laughs> eyes. <laughs> now, in this defense, I did like the returns. I did like the Booker T returns. Yeah, hilarious. those are cool. cool. It's just a Virgin Del Rio. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 honestly, honestly, when you talk about 2011, you just think about the <laughs> this man Shad Gaspard's uh, theme song on the SVR 11. Wait, what, have any? Okay, rest in peace, by the way, my man. Hey, rest in oh, peace, yeah, Chad Gaspar. Yeah, 2011 was a Bird to Rio. 2012, we thought it was going to be Chris Jericho, but it was Sheamus. A little bit yeah. odd. 
very odd. Well, odd, you know. Uh, so that, was cool. was hyped. that was the hypest I've ever been for Sheamus. I know, and you know that really died out really quickly after that. But um, yeah. 2013 was John Cena the second time. Everybody knew that because on the DVD for the Royal Rumble, they already said that John Cena and The Rock was faced to go against each other at WrestleMania. So they already, um, you know, revealed the end. Well, that because it was obvious that John Cena, because he was the number one person talking about some, I'm going to win the Royal Rumble. And it was, like, <laughs> <laughs> and he pretty much did a Charlotte Flair, and I was like, "Yup, congratulations, Cena. Welcome to the there big leagues, brother." We'll fight the Rock. <laughs> and he was obviously going to win at WrestleMania. Anyways, moving on. 2014 was Batista, obviously. We um, mm-hmm. were saying that Lily was going to cry because everybody was booing him. Uh, <laughs> Roman Reigns was 2015, where he was standing in the middle of the ring, and he was Lily was going to cry because everyone was booing him. Well, then 2016 the was uh, Triple H, one of the more weirder wins. <laughs> yeah, I had to watch that Rumble too. I was like, in history, huh? Dean should have won. Dean to the one. Yeah, that was so stupid. Like, why didn't you just have Dean Ambrose win that? Yeah. I, I mean, I guess they would have really had him be the to... champion. But that I think been... they was really trying to spark flames on that Roman and Triple H rivalry. It wasn't working, bro. But no one cared. It it's like, there's certain rivalries that's like, what makes you think that people care? Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, the people. it's like, if they're booing it, they're going to boo. They're not going to be like, you know what? Actually, in actuality... Like, they, <laughs> like, no, it just made them cheer for Triple H, which was weird. That's weird. It is so weird. I see how that's weird. Anyways, uh, 2017 was Randy Orton. Kind of lackluster. One of the more weird I was actually disappointed in that one when I was watching it. Was it, like, was kinda, it was just kind of milk toast, you know? Like, I, I feel like Bray Wyatt should have won that one, personally. It would have been cool for a million. Like Bray Wyatt or, you know, the Firefly of Flynn House. I said Flynn House. Why can I not speak tonight? <laughs> um, yeah, the 2018 was Shinsuke. 2019 was uh, Seth Rollins. 2020 was Drew McIntyre. And if you want to go for the winning. women, then you got uh, uh, Oscar for 2018. Becky Lynch for 2019. Winning that match. And no Charlotte way, Flair. I already lose. know Charlotte Flair is not going to be on your list, but Charlotte Flair in 2020. So... That's your whole list from 2004 to 2000. Yeah, you know, until Sasha wins a Rumble, then I'll uh, pick the woman. But I'm going to have to go with 08 with Cena winning that one. 08? Yeah, that's a good yeah, one. That yeah. was, that was really good. Oh, my gosh. I remember trying to stay home to watch that. Because, like, they wanted my mom, my mom and daddy wanted to go out and do something real quick. I was like, please, please. Because this is before, <laughs> obviously, I was 8 years old. So that was before like, I was able to stay home by myself. So I was just oh, like, dang. I was like, please, for, please let me watch this. I'm so glad I did because I was not expecting to see the return of John Cena that night. Man. So I am very And that was the good old days. That's where SVR 2007 is up. It's relatively a new nope. game, too. That was, I um. he's right. Huh? He's right. That was SVR 08. I mean, SVR 08 was out. You know, it was still relative. That's when it was, um, that's when it was 24-7 mode. That's not true. That's not true. <laughs> Seems like that's it true. hasn't oh. been long. Make- You're on a main menu. I'm driven. You're tired because you're going to see gun scenes over and over again. Like, how many times, I didn't mean to say, how many times, stop. how many times, how many times are you going to do a story mode, <laughs> do the story mode, and you see them. Wow, look at this Cole. He's ready for his match. <laughs> he's doing he's doing a walking animation. He's just flexing for no reason. <laughs> like, what is these cutscenes? <laughs> Why? <laughs> yeah, think about it. it SPR spells me at the worst. Yeah, I'm sorry yeah, to I'm think honest. about it. Maybe in the future. Maybe I should do like an endurance challenge to see how long I can last on story mode. Yeah, <laughs> like, to see how long I can so last when I get eyes. red eyes. <laughs> it's gonna be the most <laughs> red eyes video I've ever done in my life. I'm gonna see how oh, long I can last. Man. Ooh, me thinking about it. It's gonna be red eyes. Make an impact. And hey, Woo! hey, hey, y'all wanna know, y'all, y'all wanna uh, what's it called? Y'all wanna know those uh, chicken joint that that happened there? What? What's called? The most chicken thing to hear whenever, like, you went to the, uh, when you got back to the main menu screen. I hate when, like, this the red eyes cutscene just ended. And the, oh my goodness, I can't believe it. Is Jonathan Coachman really doing this? It's a long loading screen. <laughs> 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 
music. Stop playing the same music. That's all I'm saying. Yo, what is that, y'all? That's what I was saying. That's exactly the song that they played so many times. This hearing that riff. This hearing that riff. This brought me back. I, like, when you just blasted that, this, like, literally just, like, pushed me back in time. And I was sitting there yeah. on, my, on my sofa bed. Get ready to fall yeah. asleep because I got to keep doing this. <laughs> look at, look at <laughs> so you gonna keep on. doing it. Dude, I always have to stare at that red eyes calendar, bro. It's like I don't want to look at the calendar. That game no was way. so red. The whole like <laughs> the locker room looked red. as a little like we was in a dungeon, like we was like in a parking My garage. Gosh. Like what kind of locker room was that, dude? Look at the parking garage, y'all. Mm-hmm. Oh, in the, uh, and why is the room dark? That's yeah, all I'm saying. Look at parking garage. Yeah, we had a laptop. Did the locker dude. room progressively? Did the locker room progressively get better as the story continued, or is it just like? No, nah. it looked the brother. It looked the exact same the whole entire game. <laughs> Nothing changed. Even when you get Dang. like at the end of the story mode, like every because I think I I only completed it. That that shows you how much I didn't care. Like I played. SmackDown vs. Raw 2006, 2007, SmackDown vs. Raw Part 1, or 2005 to other people. I completed story modes multiple times, but 2008 is the only time I only completed it once. Because that's how much I did not care about it. Like, I only completed it once, and it was with Shawn Michaels. And I think I just simulated it a lot until the whole Hall of Fame thing came all the way up. That's why I got unlocked the last person. I forgot what it was for. I think it was for Vince McMahon or somebody like that. But, um... Dang, dude. That was the only time I completed it. And I didn't even really complete it. I just, oh my gosh, just thinking about it. I don't even know why I even made that promise now. Because I like, just thinking about it because, like, having to do the matches every single week. And it's a match that, like, the storyline, like, the thing is, is that it's the most universal mode story mode I've ever experienced in my life. Because, like, the matches don't make sense at the time. Like, there's no storyline to it. It's just kind of like, let's put Carlito in a match with you. And then from yeah. then on out. Why was it always Carlito? It was always Carlito and Chris Masters. <laughs> <laughs> and Kenny Dykstra, too. Like, why was he in the main event w- scene? Who is he? <laughs> and then that... <laughs> Where did he come but from? Looking back at it... I mean, I know where he's from, but like... Too. The roster is weak, <laughs> I guess that's why he yeah. was there. Because, like, out of everybody they could have so. used for storylines, like, they have a cool storyline, Undertaker, you know? Uh, Randy Orton, you know, John yeah. Cena. They, they all these, all these... Big Why are we stars? always teaming with Cena? I don't want to team with you, bro. I, I want to fight I, you, my exactly. guy. Exactly. I think the only <laughs> cool one that they had, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, was the ECW one. Was the ECW storyline? Yeah, that was the, the only cool one that dude. actually like had some sort of depth to it. To a certain extent, like at least like it made sense. <laughs> like as an invasion okay. going on. Everybody else was just <laughs> like, "Oh, you beat me last week. Let's fight at the pay per view." That's literally what the storyline actually- was. Actually, that started getting annoying, too, because for some reason we kept fighting Big Show. I don't know why was <laughs> upset shit with us fighting Big Show, but for some reason we kept fighting Big Show. This game like, is, stop. Man, this has turned into a real session of Spectrum of Russell 2008. <laughs> this and game, I dude. Remember, and I remember in my mind that I kept on saying SVR 2008 was my favorite game. I, was I like, did. Woo! I don't know about that, that back, one. Man. Take that oh, one back. No, no, no. I remember, I'm, I remember for some reason on PS3 the frame rate was bad on that game. Slow motion was lagging. I'm like, sorry, but PS3, motion. like, okay, here's the thing. Like, it was lagging on PS3, but PS3 looked like a dream. <laughs> while Xbox 360, <laughs> yeah. while Xbox 360 looked like they like put like the glow up to like or like the bloom to like 100, percent and it looked like they were like ashy for some weird reason on the game. <laughs> like, I don't know what was up, but it was like extreme levels. Like you either got you either got slow motion, look like you're in a dream. It look like you like wake up, SpongeBob, wake up. <laughs> it's on the wake up now. Some reason, some reason, some of the wrestlers ain't have teeth on the next gen 2008. <laughs> I don't know what that was with, bro. Maybe with some teeth, teeth in there. Maybe we did get some ticks on the John Wicks. Yeah, yeah get some ticks on the John Wick. <laughs> but um. Uh, yeah, so you're so anyways back to the Ray Rumble winners. Did yeah, you actually sorry about that, everyone. <laughs> Wait, what? Did you say yours already? Who me? Yeah. Yeah, so Ray Mysterio, two thousand six. Okay, the Ray Mysterio was his favorite. Okay, 
But you know, talking about like the returns and stuff, that kind of also brings up the question. I'm not sure if you had it listed down. Like, what was y'all favorite uh, returns or debuts in the Royal Rumble? Returns or debuts? Ooh, man. Yeah. Is this of all time or just in our lifetime? In your lifetime. In your lifetime. In my lifetime. Definitely. Number one was Edge. Number one is Edge from the from uh, last, last year. year. Yeah, yeah. Last year it good. had to be Edge. That has to go number one. I'm just trying to think of like the ones that gave me absolute goosebumps. And I actually yeah. I do think Edge was like the biggest. Actually, and I was trying to think about Edge because like I I too. never felt like that before yeah. with that because like even I think John Cena is probably like a close second in 2008. He was like a yeah. close second to that, but Edge was like literally out of scenic nowhere. Cause like no one yeah, it really was. Cause no one was like saying like, "Oh, Edge is in the bag. Edge is doing this. Edge is doing that." Like when that music hit, cause like I, I remember yeah. sitting there, like I was paying attention to it, but I was kind of like just on my phone a little bit, was looking up, uh-huh. cause I was doing like some creative stuff for like my two K, and all the attention went away from that and straight to the TV. As soon as I seen Damn. Edge come, I started marking out, and I usually don't even mark out like that. But I was like, "Yo, is Edge?" Yo! <laughs> yeah. Play, sit down. You're thumping. So, <laughs> so um, once you heard that, once you heard that, you think you know me. <laughs> I was like, yo, that was amazing. That was a really good one. It was practically agree, like it was though. practically um it's practically that uh, roller coaster ride from Dorney Park. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> it was uh, like, like so you think you know me? <laughs> 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 I have to say Edge and Cena's 2008 was my favorite because um because when I saw Cena in 2008 um return though I wasn't watching it live every time I've seen the clip even recently I get goosebumps for some reason I don't know why. I know I every single cool. time just seeing it because I was actually a, that's just why I said it was a close second because that was a one that was another one that was like I had no idea he was gonna be there. At all. Yeah, that's cool. I always thought Cena was cool, so. Oh, man. Was, I, I miss uh, the days when I, when I was a kid and, you know, we, we didn't we didn't have to look at the, the uh, cheap cheats. You know what I mean? Or the dirt cheats. Man. You know, to know what was happening. I mean, that stuff was out at that time, but, like, you know, we wasn't looking it up being like, oh, Sheamus is going to win at this approximate time at, at that main event <laughs> of WrestleMania. Like, dude, <laughs> what's the show? You know, the whole timeline on these dirt cheats, you know. Exactly, like they got like approximately like what time? They got like nine oh eight p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The sun is going to be approximately at this though? angle. Oh my God, like dude, sunny even out. This so ticky, man. I just think you just stand everybody up in the back and say, "Okay, who's actually giving out the spoilers? Who's actually telling these people these things?" <laughs> They're not. They're not. Day. They're not even cracking out anymore. I think they just don't even care. <laughs> yeah, at this point. Because like, if they actually cared, the they would have like cracked out on that like a long, long time ago. That's true. That's true. So, I guess spoilers are here to stay, ladies and gents. It's a part of our culture. Um, People go act like they they crack addicts if they uh, don't get their spoilers anymore. I know they get mad when they don't get their spoilers. Enjoy the show, my guy. Exactly. Um, Let's watch it. But I will agree with y'all. Edge is actually the all-time, so far, in my opinion, the greatest return in a Royal Rumble because he literally could not wrestle. He was told he could not wrestle, but he came back and he set the house ablaze. It was so cool. So cool. It was such a beautiful moment. It was, man. It was. So, you know... Hanger down from our special returns, and we're all in agreement that Edge is the best one. Uh, now it all comes down to who y'all think's gonna win this year. All right, we we had to do a we had to do more of a bigger intro than that. <clears throat> oh yeah, we have to do a bigger <clears throat> issue than that, man. So we have to. Who y'all think is gonna win the Royal <laughs> Rumble match <laughs> this Sunday night? Oh man. Um Oh I love that stream. Not that stream that uh vlog. <laughs> Bronson Street. 
based on the uh, the article we read about it's going to be a scary ending. Mm. Dang. That was silly. It's <laughs> hell. <laughs> now, one or two things come to my mind. The winners could either be Brock Lesnar. <laughs> Mojo. Whoa. <laughs> Dang, man. Sorry, hey. mic switched. That's clear, sir. The Asian Cajun man. The Asian Asian man. <laughs> All right, we back. Yeah, I did oh, my yeah, annual oh. bird for my video. Sorry about that, y'all. Excuse me. So um, my picks black. are most probably, most likely Brock Lesnar's, as they said, it was scary. Or some well, way, somehow... Wait, this isn't a prediction. This is just you on who you want to win. Yeah, who I want to win. You want Brock to win? Oh, no, no. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm about to say, wait, what? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. To, yeah. Oh, who I think will win? Who do you is, want to win? Brock. Yeah, you're right. Um, no, no, we're asking you who you want to win. <laughs> is it what I want to win? win? Yeah, Brock. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, so why you want Brock to win? No, I don't want him to win. I messed up. Oh, he's oh, getting exposed. No, he wants Brock up. to win. <laughs> I messed up. I he messed loves up. Brock. I messed up. <laughs> he wants Brock to win. These people do want to win. <laughs> well, I think Ronda Rousey going. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I remember when Booker T spoiled it. I was like, oh. I think Ronda Rousey going. I think Ronda going to win it. Oh, he's spoiled. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Um, he's spoiled. Yeah, you know, I'm going to give y'all both. I'm going to give y'all both. Uh, for the women, I actually want to see. Hmm. It, it, I wanted, I wanted to, so I wanted to pick someone that I seen has been doing an awesome job. Yo, I, I heard, and I kind of want this to actually happen. Uh, Rhea Ripley, Rhea Ripley, I would want her to win the Royal Rumble if she's in it. Uh, there's rumors of after that loser loss at WrestleMania 36. I don't want to see her. No, thank you. She needs the win, my guy. She needs this more than ever. I, I would love Ripley her to get back. She, to she disappointed me at WrestleMania. She took me off because she lost. Charlotte Flair. Is this woman Charlotte? Dude, honestly, not even Rhea. It's Charlotte in general, bro. She's the one who's made Oscar tap with ease, bro. Like it's just Charlotte, bro. I'm not even mad at Rhea. It's completely Charlotte. I'm sorry. Because that was a good match. Is that Charlotte uh, won? I was mad at both of the women title matches because like they. yeah, Becky beat Shayna, even though Shayna looked like a freaking monster the whole entire time, and then she wins. With a roll up, yeah. that took me off last year, and then for a second time in a couple years, uh, Charlotte Flair made somebody tap at WrestleMania. They was probably just doing that mm-hmm. because he was like, "Oh, she lost last year in the Triple Threat. Let's have her win this year instead." <laughs> like, Tick, you talking Mark Henry? <laughs> um, <laughs> That's how he sounds as like a booking agent. And for the men's Royal Rumble, it's so highly unlikely, but I would love to have him have his moment. I would love for Kofi Kingston to win the Royal Rumble. Oh, yeah. I want Kofi Kingston to win. He did it at WrestleMania. He's claimed to be Mr. Royal Rumble. It's only fitting for Mr. Royal Rumble to win the Royal Rumble. After all his near falls, it'll finally work this year. I'm placing my punching ticket in. I'm not knocking. I'm breaking in. FBI, I'm not knocking. <laughs> in. Something, dude, something to do with spitting. Literally. Well, no, I'm waiting, no, to aqua. S- I, uh, I'm waiting to see Kofi try to do a cool moment and then he gets eliminated because he failed. I'm just waiting for that. <laughs> I really, I really, I'm, I'm sorry, Kofi, but I really do hope it happens. <laughs> yeah, look. Not I love the And now oh, look at this. Oh, he fell. Like, <laughs> does he fail? Like, oh, oh. Like, no, it looked no. like he fell, but he actually had his <laughs> foot off. <laughs> like, oh, he's doing, he's doing a WWE us. Yes. <laughs> uh, oh, honestly, it almost happened with Xavier when Xavier tried to catch him and they fell. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I was going to laugh if he did get eliminated. I was going to say, <laughs> Damn. He kept that leg up. Uh, he almost got eliminated, almost got that tweet. Okay, the thing about, no offense, but after a while, it kind of just looks like, I don't know, like, the first few years it looked like it was, like, legit. 
Like, they made it look realistic with, like, him having near falls and just jumping to the thing. But ever since he was, like, with a new day, it kind of looked like they were waiting just to catch him. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, it, yeah, it kind of did. It all looked like, it all looked like, he was like, all right, Kofi, I got you. You ready for your spot? That's what it looked like. <laughs> then he was like, oh, look, it's what is up. It's what is up. Yo, it's what is up. Look, it's what, yo, yo. But what could they possibly do? I feel like they did everything already. They can make him, like, uh, jump up to the sky and then, like, just they hang. make him, like, just fly. And then, like, he can be, like, on top you know, like, um, like, he can, like, swing from the rafters. And then, like, yeah. you know, like, how, like, they do the <laughs> spot. You know how to do the spot, like, at Elimination Chamber? But he can, like, just jump up there and then swing. Yeah. You know? That'd be kind of cool. Or, like, in, uh, <laughs> like, they'll slide, like, a ladder from under the ring or something and then he'll land on the ladder. Okay. And somehow it's like a bungee jump. And gave a bungee jump. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you, I hope you know that everybody on here on the podcast now you got, got that down. Yeah, man. Or, or, or maybe he could use like Sin Cara's trampoline to like drag it out, and then he'll like leap on it and bounce right back to the ring. That would be sick. Wow, okay, can you crush. say hi? Hey. Hi. Hey. You're in the podcast, eh? Hey. Hi. Do you want me to edit hi. that out now? You want me to edit out the post nasal drip part? <laughs> I ain't even hear that. He ain't what the heck? If you have post nasal drip, get I'm not gonna edit it out unless you want me to. Y'all turn to what, dude? Messing up my set. Post nasal drip. Keep from dripping. It looked kind of cool either way. I ain't gonna lie. It looked kind of cool either way. Okay, silly. Who do you think's gonna win the Royal Rumble this year? Man? Sorry. Uh, <laughs> both women and men. Yo, I think Kofi, right? Mm-hmm. Kofi's definitely one of my picks to win the Mid Royal Rumble. That was quite ticking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a Royal Rumble. <laughs> Stop. Uh, By the way, do not mind the background right now. My mom uh, showed my horrible side. To my background. <laughs> the parts that are usually actually, in the dark. But she has a light on. Or she had the light <laughs> on. So they've seen everything. <laughs> I see. I have a question though. For who? Uh, both of y'all. Yes. yes. Um, Mom, his name is Silly this... Mad Chef. Uh, <laughs> Yo, Rennie been calling me Silky too, bruh. I only did it once. It's fine. Yeah. It's not that serious. All right. What's your question? Oh, um, the point I, I, was, I was gonna say before I say my picks. Don't y'all remember like the that weak spot that Kofi Kingston did when uh, he like hung on to the ring post and oh, it was like love super you. lame. That junk looked like it hurt. But yeah, he, he like, talked about that on the uh, Power Positivity podcast. It doesn't even hurt. Yeah, it didn't. I, I remember when uh, Baron was trying to hit him. That was kind of lame. I didn't like that one. Yeah. That was one of my least favorites. Oh, he was having on to the ring post? Yeah, when he just, like, jumped onto it. I was like, man, that doesn't take skill. Get out of here. Hey, it does. You hit your chest right. He's like, oh, no, ah. He no, thought. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'm just saying, like, bro, he basically just dropped down. It wasn't as cool as the other ones. That was kind of weak. I yeah, those like are weaker that. ones. Yeah, that was weak. Um, that's one. Weaker and versions. Two, my favorite was when he jumped from the barricade to the ring apron. That was my favorite. Yeah, that was dope. Can you, can you imagine if you missed that one? Yeah. <laughs> you know, he jumped from the barricade. Oh. He's a lazy jump. When he just hear like a big doom sound. He's a lazy jump. He's jumping back. The doom. <laughs> it's all. Oh, He's oh, a lemonite. He <laughs> what if he jumped and only one leg made it so he like hit a split and it said Tong, oh, he slid off he got eliminated oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's all oh, what a loss ladies and gentlemen We're so <laughs> Just, so, um, that's one stuff and two I would love to see John Morrison and Kofi make a spot together in the rumble like do manage awesome, to somehow man. get back into the rumble together that would be cool let John Morrison go 
with another rivalry. Why do they got this man stuck with Sheamus and Keith? What is going on? <laughs> Get out of here. That is a little ticking. Uh-huh. Speaking of Keith, I wouldn't be uh, mad if he won either. But he ain't winning. I already know he ain't I want to see the bask in his glory. Oh, bask in his glory. I want to see Keith Lee win this Royal Rumble. Oh, and then for the women's, I would probably like to see um, Alicia Fox win. Because I feel like she's been doing like, a pretty Fox? good job. She's not even going to probably be she in the Rumble. I think she's a legend now. I think she low key left. For what? One Divas Championship reign? Well, they deem her a legend. They say, it's oh, it's so like when Tori Wilson became. It's really like when Tori Wilson became the Hall of Famer. I was like, for what? What, what did she, she do? do? <laughs> Not much. So well, she I might still take off about it, but like, what did she exactly zombies. do? It says she just showed the bazookas, and that was it. Yeah, that <laughs> was practically what she's in there for. All right. <laughs> My gosh. But anyway. Listen, yo, we're, uh, we're joking. We're joking. We're joking. We're joking. We're yeah, joking. Not really. We're joking. I love, I love me some Tori Wilson. She was one of my favorites. I love you. Karen Clever, don't cap. She was not one of your favorites. Come no, on. she I was one of my favorites. Like, her in-ring skill was, like, immaculate. <laughs> yeah, okay. It was a Mac Militant. Come on again. No one even really remembers a Tori Wilson match. Let's be honest here. Yeah, she never really remember matches. No, actually, <laughs> no, actually, the one match I do remember, I I do love from her is her and Dawn Marie. That was like the that was that that was actually believe it or not, y'all. That was WrestleMania material. For real? What are you playing? <laughs> no. <laughs> you got about like Dawn Marie. This chick can't wrestle. I say I didn't even know who that was. was Dawn Marie. Dawn Marie. That's how I knew Dawn it was Dawn Marie. <laughs> 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 Yeah, Not a lot of people are gonna I forgot about Dominic. it. Remember Joy Giovanni? Oh yeah, Joy Giovanni. We're just on. Ding, 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 ding. No wait, I had the wrong theme song. Yeah, that was our theme yeah, that was Linda McMahon's. Wait, Joey. Wait, wait, Joey. That was Linda McMahon's theme song. Oh no, she had old WrestleMania. She had the WrestleMania song. Yeah, I'm about to say that wasn't. <laughs> no, I was thinking. Whose theme was that? I forgot whose theme that was. It was on the old SBR game. That was like Vince McMahon's. I mean, uh. This <laughs> bit <laughs> 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 Yeah, no, that's what I'm talking about, right? Right? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You do this roll? No, no, no. I was talking about. Come on! You know, I'm like, you breaking my equipment. Oh my God. Dude, stop breaking my head, bro. Come chill. on! Bro, stop breaking my head, bro. Chill. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you're laughing too hard. Go down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, Rennie's lips look like a folded, uh, folded toaster screw. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> it does. The way he's got it, look like a folded toaster screw. <laughs> okay, leave my man's alone. All okay. right, y'all. I'll be right back. I gotta go. Uh, I gotta go do something. Got a twinkle, twinkle, little star. Red eyes. Oh my. Red eyes. But yo, um, what were we talking about? Oh yeah. Tori Wilson and Dawn Marie. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's the most, right, red, most red eyes woman on WWE. Who, Dawn Marie? No, I'm saying, who was the most red eyes woman in WWE? Uh, the most red eyes. Have a list? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of them. Wait, who? There was a lot of. Crystal. Um, I feel like we're going to get some hate for this. People are going to be like. Oh, so you hate women? Like, no, chill out. You know what? Hey, we'll, like, do, we'll, we'll have the men's side. Yeah, but so, you know, we're going to do a men's side, too, so y'all don't have to be like, yeah. oh, they're just sexist. <laughs> oh, they just hate women. Yeah. Uh, Listen, we love, hey, we love, we love women's wrestling. I literally, just said, I literally <laughs> just said I wouldn't experience the first women's Royal Rumble. <laughs> don't get on us. Don't Top get on us. You don't know us like that. <laughs> Who wrote that? Dick. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Jay Ginza. I can't look at it, bro. I can't look at it anymore. Sorry. Hey. It's an edited picture of Adam Cole. I said, Charlie, welcome to the first ever Raw Talk. I'm your host Char- for this week, Charlie Caruso. This week, our special guest WWE champion, Adam Cole, top tier editor. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so that's a clever story for the viewers. Yo, look. I'm about to say yes. Oh, my God. Me, bro. You bro, kicking editing guys. You're about to second. All right, this actually are my phone only went to eighteen percent. This thing is hilarious. <laughs> this thing ain't been charging for an hour and fifty three minutes. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so cranky tonight. I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah, um, God. <laughs> just, just kidding. Look, I texted it to you. Look, my y'all. Phone's loading up. I have to. Do all the old top tier editings, dig it in. We we always say that whenever editing's like I do. Like uh, do. <laughs> what was that sound, bro? Chill. So is it top top tier editing. All right, everybody. is that wait? Oh, I thought do, that was. Do, do, do. I said do 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 do. I said do 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 do. All right, um... Guys, you're about to hear me say happy birthday in a minute to my auntie who's turning another age, so give me a minute. Who? You hear something in the background? Say happy birthday. Wait, who? Hey, happy birthday to his auntie. I don't know who the heck you're talking auntie, about. Auntie is your auntie, too. <laughs> oh, 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 no, 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 no. Auntie Ned. Oh, never mind. Okay. I just need uh, I just need LJ's uh, text. He's in he's in search room. Something. My phone, bro. Car? No. Shoes? Every day. No. Did you ever send me the picture? Yo, silly. You can't do that. That's cheating. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever send me the picture? Yeah, I sent it through the messages. No, 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 no. This dude sent it to me. I forgot that you had Instagram. You sent it to me through Instagram? Why didn't you send me through the phone? Love you too, guys. I did. I said that. No, I mean like in... Every day you have a week. You gotta see. Wait, you, you did? Oh. Check your messages, okay? Every I don't see anything. You know, me. Don't what messages are you checking? My phone messages. Dude... It says sent two minutes ago. Two minutes. I don't see anything. The last thing I see is from January 24th. Oh my god. Go on Instagram and check your DMs. Get out. On Instagram? Right now. Yes. Why would you send oh, it to me on it? Instagram? Huh? Why would you send it to me on Instagram? Why don't you just take a screenshot? Look on your chiz, Chloe. Take a screenshot. <sighs> this dude. He's crying. Oh, he's crying. Get mad. Uh. You better off the same black. By the way, LJ, what is happening? Hey. Okay, hold on a second. Okay. I'm not even going to. All right, cool. I'm, I'm not even going to like, bring yeah. the picture. Dude, we don't even say that you sent it to me in messages on no, here. Oh, never mind. I just sent it to you. Just give me, um... Yeah, I'll be there soon. Let me <laughs> well, decking <laughs> time <laughs> bomb. Okay, boys. Um, Wait, did you see the picture on the other slide? Yes. Hey, do- <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, I'm actually about to get uh, out of here. Because I have some uh, ministerial duties to do. But... Before we go, again, um, do we Look all say who we think is going to win the Royal Rumble already? For both men and women? Did you say you're a woman? I didn't know a woman. I didn't know. You really know you really care? Uh, yeah. I hear you, I hear you, but I'm going to have to step it's out. It's not showing the um, right way. Will you be bought? That's ticking. Mm, yeah. I mean, I'll come back. Know. I'll come back. Um, it's just that I actually have to step out. I'm not sure if y'all going to end it before I leave, so... Just in case, I much love to you guys. Remember to walk in righteousness and chase after righteousness, for God wants you. And he has called us all to do a great work, and he desires of all of us to lean on his promises and only his promises. Go to God. He wants you. And he wants you to do something. I may not know what it is, but if you go to him in prayer, truthfully and humbly, 
he will open up that door for you to understand and the path that he has laid before you will be made plain. Love you guys if I don't come back in time. I'll see you all in a little while. All right. Uh, can you help me out here? Um, you made such a dramatic outro. Can you uh, yeah, move this out my way? Can you help me out? Huh? Help me out here. I'm stuck. Okay. This table, you got me kind of like... Just go. I don't want to drop it. All right, everyone. Just go. Um, there you go. All right. But you, <clears throat> you saw that picture, right, Gloves? Yeah, that was taking. But, um, all right, everyone. Let's give a... Give a bit of love to LJ. Woo! He left already. Okay, so um, finally, uh, so now we can get to, now we get to the real <laughs> topics. Ah, uh, one. Yeah, let's get into the real stuff. Yeah. But yo, 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 yo. So this is kind of a uh, a two side. You know, we had the three of us. Now it's just us two. So now we're gonna prove to him that we can actually do something on our own for a little bit. No, don't hate me because I'm beautiful to your mom. Maybe if you get <laughs> this dude, this see now this is what happened when it was just two of us doing a stream. Uh, we I'm was, joking. We was doing stuff like Dang, this. Dang, I buzzed one joke and that's what you think, man. This, this is what we did. Tired of it. I made one joke. I'm tired of it. Um, well, all right, ladies and wow. gentlemen. So um, I want to talk about because we we did um. I didn't really make predictions. I kind of just say who I wanted to win the Royal Rumble. I was starting to think about it. But yeah. um, I guess we could talk about a couple other things while we're in here. You got any suggestions right now? Um, I just saw a very ticking video, so I wasn't able to talk. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <clears throat> so I was going to... I was, actually, I had a, um, a bit of a thought. And I didn't know if we should have done it. <laughs> I was thinking, what if we had like a. Uh, so everyone knows of that infamous Lamar meme going around, right? Roasting oh Franklin. <laughs> everyone knows about that, and I had a thought. I was like, what would happen? What do you think it would be like for us to make a um one of those, but say, <laughs> but you say Lamar, but it'll be called. Lamar, Roast, and Franklin, but it's completely different people. And those completely different people would be us. <laughs> oh, God. Like, uh, <laughs> what if we did that and changed the lines of the thing? That would be amazing. Top tier strat. This thing, dude. So all the swear words... <laughs> All the swear words and everything, we replace it with stuff. We could bring in, maybe you get some more ticket bombs on you, John Wick. We can do <laughs> it, my guy. I, I like it. I like it. <laughs> what I if like we just idea. all came together? It's interesting. It's interesting. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's Can't definitely an interesting Sorry. idea uh, that I would like to do. Maybe it could pop. Maybe it'll be cool. Maybe it'll be cool. I mean, I don't, I don't mind. I, I, I like something like that. Um, get on the, uh, yeah. get on the train. On the train. Be, since it's, since it's the three of us, we could like all post it on each other's channels to get it more clout, you know. Yes, sir. I, I like that idea. I actually, I actually like it's, where you're coming from. I like where you're coming from. It's top to try. It just should be really easy, honestly, if you think about it. True that. True that. True that. Um. Why not? Why not, ladies and gentlemen? I mean, Tell me how you guys feel. Tell me what you think in the comments, peeps. I Tell me what you argument. think about in the comments. <laughs> so, yeah, I, um, I do want to hit up LJ on that. I think that'll be funny. Yeah. Um, I do actually have something I want to talk about. Because we talked about Resident Evil. We didn't really go in depth about it. I'm not going to talk about that right now. But, um... Yeah. What's going to tell you? What's going to ask? I wanted to ask, because we don't really talk about this on our channel that much. <clears throat> or me, yeah. me, you don't really discuss it that much. But, like, what do you want to see in God of War Ragnaroks later this year? Mm, what do I want to see? Yeah, like, you know, what, what, what's, what's your anticipation level? You know, like, what what's the things you're looking forward to in the game, you know? Because, like, there, there's, there's some things, you know, 
excited. I'm excited. I mean, honestly, I really don't know what to expect when it comes to that game. Um, yeah. One thing I don't want to see, but at the same time, I kind of do because I don't uh, know if thug tears will be shed. <laughs> um, but I do want to, but then again, I don't want to see this man Kratos get bodied in the next game. Oh, and no, then, like, man. Atreus would take over the series somehow. Like, whenever, if he became an adult uh, or whatever. The thing I'm really excited for, and spoilers are alert ahead. Um, I'm really excited to see um, if, um, what was I going to say? I'm really excited to see what they're going to do with um, Thor in the game. Yeah. Let's see where, where that's going to go. Because, uh, first of all, they already had a Thor... Well, this has nothing to do with the Marvel movie, obviously. But, um... Yeah. They already had Thor Ragnarok a few years ago. And, yeah. um... Now I want to see how they're going to interpret that. Or, to a certain extent... I mean, I don't really know if it's going to be really the same. But, um... I think it'd be kind of cool, actually... If they, like, let us play as Thor one part. Or something like that. It'd be kind of cool. Yeah, I think that'd be dope. And or you want to know something DLC funny campaign. about this, though? What? Here's the funny thing about this. I didn't notice until, like, I kind of looked back. But they kept talking about Thor, um, like, later on in the game. Like, earlier in the game, they kept yeah. talking about that guy. And yeah. they was kind of building it up, and I had no idea. Um, that they was actually intentionally trying to bring him to the game and make a second game about it. <coughs> I thought that was pretty cool. I thought that was kind of cool. That is true. You know what's also weird too, actually. Now I'm starting to think about it. Is that um, speaking of like uh, the first one, it's kind of weird because like I'm sitting here now and it doesn't even feel like the game's already like three years old. <laughs> Man, like, it is. Wow. Yeah, or in April will be, but like still, it's like ah! <laughs> oh, the power. <laughs> I dropped my controller. <laughs> I'll drop everything tonight. No joke, but go ahead. You're also dropping the news. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> no cap, sorry. But, yeah, um, Nick. like, I, I didn't really notice it until, like, a lot later, but, um, not notice it, but, like, it's kind of just weird that, like, the game is, like, that. I mean, it's not old, but, like, it, like, usually sometimes, like, three years feels like a while, or, like, it feels like three years, but it doesn't even feel like it was that long ago, and it felt like I was just actually doing, doing my series on here. With God of War, yeah. so it's like it's kind of weird, but um, I don't know. Like, does it feel like that to you, or like, does it feel like three years to you? Uh, honestly, I don't even know. Like, times are flying by. Like, just recently, I thought we were still in 2020, but I forgot <laughs> that we wasn't in 2021. Like, time's kind of been weird for me. Yeah. So. It's like it, it kind of felt like a long time, but then again, it didn't. It didn't. Yeah, I I'm just sorry. don't know, man. Here, <laughs> the last place it didn't. Why was you about to laugh? Because the way you said didn't. <laughs> it says it's like it didn't. <laughs> it didn't. Oh, you mad? That was funny. Oh, he's just looking at his name <laughs> right now. Oh, as a person who said <laughs> didn't it, like that, I feel very assaulted. Bro, chill out, Probably chill man. out, <laughs> dude. This dude, Look, this man. dude, want to talk about how I was talking about Chris Benoit? I said, um, I forgot what name I said, <laughs> but you teased me about that. <laughs> that was funny though. <laughs> this was funny too. So, no, it wasn't. You're right. Anyways, no, it wasn't. um, <laughs> God of War. <laughs> um, yeah, bye. But I do feel like it was a while ago. But I am very excited for this. To see if I was gonna, I don't know what direction they're gonna try to take though. I feel like this is gonna be one of the more odder games because, like, he's fighting another gold, and this is the first time he's fighting another gold since Gold of War <laughs> 3, which was literally yeah. the game before Gold of War 4. So, I don't really know. Seeing, yeah, like, seeing, like, um, I don't know, I don't know how I feel. Like, even after I played the first game. Like, it's kind of weird, because I'm still used to, like, the original ones, like, from the um, the original series of it, or the original trilogy. 
That is just kind of yeah. weird seeing me with the slower paced gameplay and me like doing like the, you know, the pound, like the, the, the punches and everything and not using the chains. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's kind of, it's kind of weird. Like, did, did you, like, did you feel, it's kind of like an interview for, for some weird reason. But, um, yeah. <laughs> but, like, did you feel kind of, like, weird when you first went to that kind of gameplay style that, like, you know, it switched to that? Um, I did, because a couple times when I tried to hit the X button and he wouldn't do anything, <laughs> it was, like, kind of <laughs> odd for a second. Yeah. Because, yeah. uh, what's called? You had to, like, this was the first God of War game that you really took. Like, played as Kratos at a normal, like, a normal human being type of standpoint. So, I liked the change in it, but it was kind of, at first, slightly hard to get used to. Like, wow, I actually can't really jump in this game all that much, as much as I was able to before. So, um... Yeah. Yeah, it was definitely a big change. But I liked it, though, bro. Most people was angry. It was like, man, why can't I jump? It's like, bro, just enjoy the game, dude. So, yeah, like, most people was complaining about it, but um, I personally still enjoyed it, though. I didn't find it really be. Oh, excuse me. I didn't find it be that much of a problem, really. It was just kind of weird <laughs> at first. Yeah, you know. But um, same, you know, man. It, it's it's the way it is, you know. It's cool. Yeah, but still a very fun game, and I'm glad it won Game of the Year that year. Yeah, very that, that's, that's my one guy. game that definitely deserved it. It definitely deserved yeah. it. Yeah. I was, um, I forgot one game of the year. Come think about it. So, yeah. yeah. It was that. That was a. Man, 2018 was really good. Oh, what what came out in 2018 though? I don't like that year. 2018 was a weird gaming year. To be man. honest with you, it's kind of funny because I was actually at the time where like I was barely buying any games, Damn. at least any new games. So, um, what was I gonna say? So like that year, I kind of forget what was even coming out because like the only two games is 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 literally only two games I get during the year. It's either uh, it's gonna be one new game like off brand new game like a random new game, and it's gonna be a WWE game <laughs> every single year. <laughs> so like WWE is always yeah. gonna be a given. I think last year, like y'all still continue the, the tradition, but this, last year was the first time I actually didn't buy a new WWE game, which was Two K Battlegrounds. I didn't buy that. But, no. Um, Wait. Oh, yeah. It was, actually. Yeah. So, that that was the last time. The last time I got a 2K game or a wrestling game was 2K20. And uh, that's a bad impression to leave yourself one. But, um, yeah, that I was the ball most battlegrounds, best but I, I, I still kind of just don't care about it. It's not that it looks bad. It's just I like, don't care. <laughs> Wait, which one? WWE Battlegrounds? Yeah. It's like, it doesn't look like a bad game. Like, I've seen y'all play it before and everything. Like, it was cool. But, like, is this not? Now it's Red too? Eyes, bro. Oh, it is red eyes now? Okay. It becomes very red eyes very easily. <laughs> they be too gay bad over I think it's just the roster now. Like, there's a roster just kind of... There's something about the roster now just kind of red eyes. Some some is of that, them. It's not their fault. Is you know, because their in-ring skills is cool. It's just, you know... I don't know. <laughs> and bro, that thing on the room with my... Uh, what's it called? That's on legit ruined my chiz. Like... Uh, I mean, I ruined it, but it was just like, I mean, it's just sitting there in my library collecting dust, dude. Like, I have not played that game. <laughs> the suckers, suckers came out with DLCs of, like, wrestlers. Like, that wasn't inside the game when you first got it. I didn't care. I, it's still collecting dust. Stick <laughs> of doom, bro. That game became red eyes and boring very easily. I'm sorry, bro. I agree. I agree. Um, I knew it was gonna happen. It was still. It was just basically a more so unfair version of uh, All Stars. Yes, yeah, digging in. <laughs> it got. It just looks ticking. <laughs> like the game exactly. Just looks ticking. Half of the time you can't reverse. If you get hit like at least twice with a finisher, they'll take away your pin bar. Pin bar, so you can't kick out. Dang. You have to lose. Bro, that's on some kids, bro. I don't like that game. They, that's literally the definition of put down a controller. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Put happen. down the controller. Dang. That's the put down a controller <laughs> feature. <laughs> that they didn't tell you yeah, about. Yeah, it's like... And the pin bar is odd. I don't <laughs> like that game, bro. I really don't like <laughs> oh, that Oh, you're game. mad about it. The game's whack. That game's wild. Man. Not in a good way. 
No, I didn't. Wait, there, man. I like you cranky. Oh, come on, why are you crank crank? It is a red eyes game. I'm not even gonna cap to you. It, I mean, I kind of knew I was gonna get bored of it, but that's why I bought it. I was like, just because I'm just gonna buy it, dude. Respect, respect. Um, you are respected. But yeah, that's that. Um, what was I gonna say? I was actually gonna, I was actually gonna ask you, what was your uh? Actually, I feel like we've had this topic recently, but we didn't die. So, go, what was there any game of the year that you had last year? I don't think I've ever answered. Because I remember I was like, bro, what games oh, came out what this happened, year? Because what happened, I think we talked about it, but we wasn't on the stream or we wasn't on the podcast. We was just talking by ourselves. Yeah, and I never gave you my answer because I was like, maybe we should talk about it on the podcast. I, th- I think that's what happened. It was sometime oh, last right. week or two weeks ago. Yeah, I forgot um, about that. So yeah, I'm not gonna say Ghost of Tsushima. Li- I'm not. I'm not gonna sit here and just lie and cap to people. All right, it's not. It's not like it was a yeah, bad but- game. <laughs> it's just I'm not gonna sit here and play about like. Two percent of the game, and then say, "Yeah, that was my game of the year," because everybody else was saying it. Like, listen, yeah, it's impossible. You can't say that, bro. Exactly, <laughs> and and also, like, I didn't like the storyline in The Last of Us Part Two, but I'm not even going to touch on it because I didn't play it. So, <laughs> so yeah, I, I just, I'm just gonna say I didn't like the storyline of what I seen, but mm. I'm not going to be like, oh, the game really <laughs> sucked. That was the worst, you know, because I didn't personally touch it. Pause, you know. Yeah. So <laughs> that's just the way it is. So, um, honestly, that game, last year's games was kind of weak, man. I don't know. It was like, I'm talking about regarding weird. how many games came out. The gaming was just kind of weak last year. I, I don't know because I think last year, why am I screaming? Last year. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's a, it's a, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Why was I looking up at the sky? Like, <laughs> I always questioning Yo, his life. Be quiet. He's like, I don't. He's like, I don't know. <laughs> Yo, you're ticking. Oh, that's ticking. I'm sorry, everyone. All right. Oh, that was ticking. Now. <laughs> I'm sorry. I guess I'll I don't know. No. <laughs> that was so ticking, ticking time. Time. Wow. Ticking time bomb. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. I'm trying to change my light in the background. Hold on a second. This is ticking. Ticking. I don't know why, but me laughing. I just thought of us eating cheesesteaks down at Atlantic City. <laughs> and having an or- <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Look, I thought I was, I thought I was laughing and like talking and stuff. I thought about us eating cheesesteaks from the boardwalk <laughs> at Atlantic City. <laughs> I mean, that's like the must have an orchestra gas in the hotels. Oh, nigga. Why? I don't know why I was thinking about us having what? lethal gas. What? <laughs> Whoa. what led to that? <laughs> what was your What was your process for that moment? <laughs> Dude, I just thought about it for some reason. Otherwise, that nigga, make nigga. Dude, <laughs> what? I don't know why I thought about that just now, bro. I am so confused. Dude, you I know? just thought about it just because. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. That made me laugh so hard. That was ridiculous. Oh, hi. You guys, Mac? You died? Second. All right. Um, bro. Oh, there's bro. something I got to tell you about Lang City in a minute, too. But after you talk about it as well. I don't even remember what we were talking about. Oh, yeah, it was like Game of the Year. Something like that. Yeah, for 2020, because the year, because the games of that year was weird. Um, <laughs> I forgot you screamed when you did it. That's why we stopped. <laughs> oh yeah. You screamed. <laughs> 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 like, 
you don't stop laughing about it. <laughs> Why are you screaming? Why are you screaming? Why are you screaming? Why are you screaming? Yeah, um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's thinking. It's thinking because I was only the boss guy. Shout out to the boss guy. I appreciate you, dude. You're cool. But it was a thing. The way I said it. Yes. Um, I don't know. Uh, oh, stop. <laughs> Why am I screaming? Why am I screaming? Oh, stop. <laughs> That's so ticking. Oh, my gosh. That was funny. Okay. All right. Get your composure. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, chick. <laughs> <laughs> Why was I screaming? Okay. Oh, that was funny. All right. Okay. <sighs> okay. Wait, I think I did answer. I, I I said the watchers. Oh, yeah, but that was on the uh, camera, though. Or, no, no, no. I didn't say the watchers was my favorite game. I said that it was my favorite game play that we did last year. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. So, I just don't know, um... Because there was a lot of What's... games that was like... I, I played a lot of weird games last year. Because it was... I 2020 was a year of one-offs. Because <laughs> like, there was a lot of gameplays that was just like... I did it only once. And it was meant to be just for one time. It was like a series. Yeah. Like the only thing that I did that was like in succession was probably like Uno. Which is technically... It's not really like a game that's like... Like a series, per se. Um... Mm-hmm. I'm trying to look at it back at 2020 because I played Uno a lot and I played um, played Trapped. That was a really cool game at the beginning of the year. East Coast Nightmares is Red Eyes, and one person gave me a dislike for it. Usually, people get mad at that. I respect you. For <laughs> wait, wait, wait they gave you dislike on trash. what? Huh? They gave you dislike on what? East Coast Nightmares demo. That game was the most red eyes game I've ever seen in my life. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I was so excited to play it. I was like, "Yeah, it's a cool game about a clown." I couldn't shoot nobody. No one would heck? die. Um, I kept running. It was it was just weird. It was an odd game. You know, it was very odd. Um, <laughs> let's see. Oh, actually, one game. Okay, it's kind of weird because. Excuse me. Golly. Okay, so. There's an update to this game, and I tried playing it, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, but it kept glitching out and wouldn't let me go further because it kept on doing like this. I kept on going out the door. It froze. I'm on a black screen. It said it is an error. So, like, I, I just kept getting stuck. <laughs> why did I just do that, like, in, like, why did I explain it that way? <laughs> I was like, I closed the door. There's an error. <laughs> like, just say that you closed the door. And there was an error. <laughs> all, I, all I had to say, all I had to say on here was, yeah, I tried to close the door and it was an error and it kept on glitching out. Not having a whole explanation like that. But anyways, um, so yeah, I played some sketchy games last year, and it was uh, Happy Humble's Burger Farm. I played that game, like, dude, he. I, I think, think I know what you're talking about, too. Yeah, it, it was it was it was it was the cow game or that game with the cow. Yes, I, yeah, I remember I seeing Corey it. play it, and then I saw you play it. Like, yeah, I think a few that days later. game was kind of cool. Is either that or Jackbox Party Pack Six? Now I only count that as 2020 because we like that game was popular throughout 2020, and then the newer one came out, so it's more popular now. Well, not really, because not really uh, anybody's playing it. <clears throat> but anyways, uh, Party Pack Six, I will say, is probably my favorite game because nice. that night was awesome. Like when everyone was coming in there, we was all doing it. Dude, we gotta do it again, dude. Yeah, we have. We had to do. It we again. have to. That's like your specialty right there. Yeah, that was, that, was, that was kind of cool. That was a really that was a really good night. That was a really good night. Say happy Halloween, man. Mm. Ah, 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 ah. But um, what maybe I should heck? do a Friday. Maybe I'll do a Friday. I don't know when it's gonna be uploaded. It's gonna be uploaded on January twenty eighth, two thousand twenty one, as I'm recording this. But it'll probably be uploaded later on the same day as I'm recording this right now. But um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's um, I'll probably. Yeah, I'll probably I think it. I know my game of the year. Wait, what is it? Uh? No, it's Thursday. I definitely know my game of the year for that uh last year. We went fast. Oh, you do? Yeah. Bring it on me. Um, I I think. 
Because I remember playing it and it has so much, like, I don't know. It was just like a, I don't know what it was about this game, but it was like really special to me and I like enjoyed it heavily. Um, mm-hmm. I don't even remember if I posted it. I don't think I made a series on it. Um, but I remember I recorded it. I doubt it. It was uploaded for whatever reason. But, uh, I, I definitely got to give it to, uh, Jackbox Party Game 7. That one was just a complete and utter banger, my guy. Like, Dude, I never even uploaded those videos. Do I still? Hold on a second. I gotta look at something real quick, yo. I'm sorry. You should have, man. That was a bang. Do I still have dude. those videos? Do I still have like the like the footage? Because that was a banger. You have to. Admit. I might still have the footage of it. Oh god. Do I have the footage? Yeah, of that it? was a banger, right, Cliff? Dude, you gotta post it. I don't know if I still got the footage of it. I, I might have deleted it. It might have gave me so much red I think eyes. I remember one day you did for some reason and you told me. Yeah, I think I deleted it. But that was a banger, dude. I wish I was able to post Why that. Why are you capping so hard right now? Like, to be honest, that was the game of my this decades, dude, bro. This dude knows that he's straight capping right now. He's talking about something. That was bro, that game. was the game. That, was that game automatically, game. hands down, is game of the decade, bro. Dude, if I'm being honest. Stop it. Stop it. I'm just being honest. Look. I love Brave the same block. It's my special. I'm just game. being honest. Oh, he's annoying. <laughs> ah! Um, yeah, I think I deleted I got pop. All right. What happened? Wait, what? What happened? I think I deleted it. Ho oh! ho! Yeah, I deleted it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Delete the video. <laughs> Red eyes. Yeah, that that was that was a bad game, y'all. All to the sides. Well, know. it was it was I was I was actually going to still upload it because like the footage that we did have the first set like the first session we had was actually really good. Um, because we found some games that was actually like really fun. It's just the one that we did after it was Red Eyes, and I didn't even try. So I deleted the I deleted the good one solely because, um. Our voices, excuse me, Ugh. my voice, I didn't have the microphone calibrated correctly, so it was, like, super low for our voices, but the game was, like, dink memes out of this world, so I, had to, <laughs> so I, I just was, like, bumped that, I don't feel like fixing it, so. Same thing with the last episode of Nerve. Yep, so. Oh, well. <laughs> you will never see it. Yeah, uh-huh. we'll never see, uh, that video will never see the light of day. Yeah, it's kind, of, it's kind of unfortunate, you know, <laughs> in a in a cosmic sort of way. Yeah, man. Um, both videos ain't ever gonna make it to the internet. Um, they've been erased. It's a memory that we'll only keep to ourselves. Well, these videos will um, never be uploaded to the interwebs. Ah! The interwebs. Sorry, y'all. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. He feels bad. How are y'all? Now, what was, now what was the most red eyes game you've ever played? You know, surprisingly, it might not be Jackbox. <laughs> I think I think <laughs> I think I have something worse. I I think I think I, gonna, I, I, think I get say that's answer. not. I was gonna say that's one of the stuff you can't say though. I have your answer. <laughs> it's uh, it's this game I played for clubs over. Volume three. By the way, this is gonna be a new. This, <laughs> I'm sorry. This is gonna be a new. This is gonna be a new tradition every single year for for. Mm, I can't speak. So for 2021, or every year for now on, I'm going to end the uh, Club Tober <laughs> celebration with the most red eyes Halloween game I can think of. <laughs> <laughs> and this year, now 2020 wasn't on purpose. It just so happened that I did it two years in a row where I picked the game. I picked the last game to be a red eyes game. And I didn't recognize it, <laughs> but but it's this game <laughs> called Malediction. Woo! That game. 
That game. <laughs> what? That Close. game. Jack Box looked like it was the Olympics compared to that game. <laughs> no, <laughs> no offense. No offense. Now, listen. There's creators <laughs> out there. There's people that's, that created that game. And I really appreciate it. All right? <laughs> I really appreciate it. Y'all, y'all had an ambitious idea. You know, I love you for it. But listen. It's... It's... No, PlayStation, don't listen to me. Shut up. Sorry. <laughs> it, was all, it was all like, you say something? Like, no, I wasn't talking to you. Because I said, listen. <laughs> now listen, oh, ladies and gentlemen. Stop. The game's red eyes, all right? It's red to the eyes. <laughs> the game, like, I was sitting there, I was... <laughs> Dude... Like, the game, I lied to you not when I first, and I even said in the beginning of the gameplay, when I first clicked onto yeah. it, I legit thought it was a click point game. <laughs> like, I thought it was, like, oh, a visual eyes. novel or something like that. Like, I didn't know it was, like, a 3D game at first. I was like, this thing, what is up with this with this main menu, dude? It looked like an old DVD main menu. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I'm about to go to special features. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, dude, take me to the game. Red eyes. Then I was laughing because this dude in the game, he was the way he was talking. He was like, um, he's like, why do I look like this? I'm ugly. I'm hideous. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> I was like, oh, it's ticking. Like this whole game, the music was ticking because I kept dying at the end from some cheese, not from little cheese, but you know, some some cheese. <laughs> that game, dude. I don't even know. It was. Just look it up. Just look it up. I can't, I, dude. I, I might need to watch your gameplay of it, honestly. Realistically speaking, and yeah, watch at your own risk. Now, the, now the funniest one I will say from twenty twenty that I absolutely do, absolutely endure, or adore, um, is the Hollows. I just love that gameplay for the simple fact that the enemies <laughs> had like long arms. <laughs> and they were attacking me. That thing is a classic, dude. I, I'm sorry. I love, I love that video. <laughs> I love that video. Now I'm not like a person to be like bragging or anything like that. But like, listen, people, y'all need to go check that video out because I think cracked me up so bad. <laughs> like, like it was so. It was one of those games. That, like, it wasn't even like a bad game. It, it was just, like, the character's design was just, like, what am I looking at? <laughs> like, what the heck is all this? It was yeah, weird. It was weird. One of the more odd. And I completed the game, too, actually. Wow. In 14 minutes, apparently. <laughs> actually, no, I think I added <laughs> some things out. Yeah, I added some things out. I forgot. It actually took me, like, 30-something minutes. But, anyways. Uh, Man, how about you? <laughs> Enough about me. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna say, honestly, I don't even know. Oh, Bobby Lashley got a new theme. He's singing. Oh, Bobby, no! I don't even know his new theme, but I gotta listen to it later. Hold up. I have a feeling that's gonna be ticking. How do? I go more. It's like a margin man. <laughs> <laughs> the picture's ticking. Get out of here. <laughs> Why they always change people's themes who doesn't need to be changed? Or are they changing when it doesn't need to be, like, at all? I don't understand, dude. Like, it's, actually, it's Deep Song. Actually, I started liking it after a while. Yo, it's a really good theme. I like it. It's thing on eight. Anyway, look. It's nigga I was going to say, um... Honestly, what was my most red eyes game that I've played? We're talking like some major red eyes here, like that type of game. That's like, man, I bought this. Done. I'm trying to remember what was the most red eyes game I played. Oh, you know what? Oh, I'm gonna get hate for this. Oh god. The most red eyes game that I've played has to be Minecraft. Oh, oh. Minecraft. I never oh, got into Minecraft, so you ain't gonna be no hate for me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, you wanna talk about red eyes? 
play Minecraft. <laughs> I actually did try, and I was Ax just like... Ax yeah, you did with my cousin that one time, Ed <laughs> I don't... Uh, I just you... never understood how, um... <laughs> People got into that game, you know, that follows I, them. I still look good, man. That's one Actually, all there's a couple games. games that really give me red eyes. Like, Minecraft gives me red eyes. Oh, we're going to get some hate for this. But, um, Minecraft gave me mm. red eyes. Uh, Roblox gave me, like, super red eyes. Roblox just looked like <laughs> you just got into a random server that wasn't supposed to happen. And they yeah. just, like, ah! <laughs> Wait, dude, we, we need to counter on how many times they should drop something tonight. I can't stop dropping my controller, bro. Right? He can't stop, 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 stop. Oh, actually, the second Red Eyes thing was WWE 12. Stop, <laughs> WWE 12. That's second. Ding, That's second. Ding, I wouldn't mind. Sorry, guys. It's kind of like busted on my loud voice. My bad. You good? Y'all still streaming? Yeah. Dang. We talk we're talking about, about what, was our, what was the most Red Eyes game you played. <laughs> And I, as I told them, one of the most red eyes things I've played at number one has to be Minecraft, and number two is <laughs> WWE 12. Those red eyes, man, I don't like them. I don't like those games, man. All the bags. We are kind of red eyes. Well, I never played Minecraft, so I can't even say. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. red to the eyes. Um, I'll probably say Human Fall. Flaw. Human Fall Flat was the most. Like, I tried to make it interesting. Wait, no, I thought you enjoyed it. I tried. I frauded. <laughs> <laughs> I frauded. Oh. I'm like, yo, you could be Clifford on here. You could actually make Clifford. And then... <laughs> this dude didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> <I don't know>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My character looked like Clifford. And I tried to make it intriguing. I tried to scream it. Red <laughs> Eyes! <laughs> Wasn't what I expected. Worst $3 I these, ever these, these still have the stream up? Is it still? A, well, all of my stuff is privated on my uh, YouTube. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's I right, got right, right. Cause Because Silly, Silly did that accidentally. Because I had him. Uh, what an unprivated video! I wanted to uh, let him uh, private all of my live streams, but he accidentally privated my entire. What an private <laughs> your videos! This man got one random live stream up right now. What's the live that. stream that's up? What's the last video oh, that you had? My man got WWE Universe Smackdown Live Episode 10. What happened to Episode 1, 2, 3, 4, etc.? Private hit. Uh. Oh, man. Oh, this thing is Michael Jackson. Hey, what was that? <laughs> that was the music This is his Jackson. final stream, that's it. The way are you? You get me! You rock my world, you know you be. Every time in your day, every day in your life. Oh, this is cringy. Said man can challenge. You're sitting there. Cringe, and I kind of remember that night. <laughs> Cringe. Chill, bro. You chewed on that straw, you nasty I mouth. I did. Stop. <laughs> <That's dumb. laughs> she was on the straw and tried to hit me with it. Chill out. This dude, chill out, dude. Dang on, got all the food in the right places that was she stuck in his dang on, stuck inside his dang on teeth. She did. Oh, mm, chill, we're trying to have a podcast here. She's dancing to the break of dawn. Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. I greatly oh, appreciate it. Oh, Yo, we going to end this podcast? I think it's getting weird, man. No, sorry. You came no, in you, got weird. This dude literally comes into the room. And it says, if we're going to end this podcast, it's getting weird. You don't want to interrupt us. We were in the middle of a conversation. I'm, I'm just saying, y'all. Nobody's saying nothing. He's just vibing. That's what's being done. It's a vibing stream. Is there anything wrong with that? No, I'm not wrong with Why do I always say stream? We're not streaming. It's a podcast. What's wrong with me? Anyways, I think we're just going to end it here anyway because um, we've been already going up for two and a half hours. It doesn't even feel like it. It really doesn't. Wait, what? It's been the... Yeah, we've been going for two and a half hours. It That really did not go like two and a half out, hours. Chill out, Rennie. Rennie getting annoying right now. <laughs> Dude, come back from doing his uh, pastor work and then uh, starts annoying us. Nice. Thing on knucklehead. Hey, listen, 
God doesn't like liars, but he does like jokers. Uh, see? See now God doesn't like liars, but he does like jokers, though. <laughs> I did hear that he does like jokers. That's no, one thing I, I did. I'm very glad we didn't play Dang and Rope. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, thank you for watching uh, yeah. this podcast. This is the Random Podcast, episode 8, coming to you live. Maybe we can finally make it to episode 10 Same. after, like, two years. Same. Do you think we'll be able to get to episode 10, guys? I think we will. By the way, I just want to say this for future uh, references when people um, watch our streams, whatever. I keep on saying streams. When everybody watch Whenever our podcast, you see our bookie get hairy. Whoa! Whenever you notice all that juice, he's dang. <laughs> no, <it's actually> <laughs> no, I'm done. But um, <laughs> when for future references, when y'all see in the playlist it says, "Where's episode two? What happened to episode two? Well, to answer your question, that one video that we did last year with um. Stretch, oh my gosh! My I mean, with, is just lagging with a uh, clickbait. Or a clickbait. I mean, switching the news. Um. <laughs> wait, you see that? Rain, can you stop with that? When you see that. Rain! When you see that, that's right. technically episode two of Random Podcast. Just to let you guys know. In case you're wondering how it went from one to three. So, technically, we are on episode eight. Just to let you guys know that. So it it is. But I can't hear you. My chest is lagging, bro. All right, well we're getting wild. Ready. So this is a perfect time for us to end it. I love you guys. May God be with you. Um, we'll see you on the next podcast. Um, hopefully it's next. May week. God bless you. Yes, sir. We might be we might be doing May. two. That we might we might get it straight to DVD. No, I'm lame. We might be doing two this week. <laughs> My chest is lagging. We might be doing two this Always week. Always remember, y'all. Always remember. Because we Love. missed last Friday, and these little ticket time bombs didn't want to call me last Friday. Mm. Well, I just want to let everybody know, as we end this all, love, peace, peace and, and a ball of hair hair grease. grease. No, he just said in hair grease. I was actually using the Martin grease. You don't like that. Love. Okay, cool. Love, love peace, and, and hair, hair grease, grease y'all. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't hear have hair, then uh, sorry. Ah, but if you no if you, you can do make that have hair, shiny. If you do mm. have hair, just make sure you thank God for giving you the roll of hairspray. The roll, yeah. Of hair. uh, uh. Yo, yo, should I talk about that on the next podcast? <laughs> <laughs> Fire on! I'm not ashamed. I'm not Bye. ashamed. By the way. I might buy that actually. It's only for two ninety nine. Yeah, I'm getting it. Wait, Wait what? Sure. Yo, she was the best. Right, she was my girl. girl. That was the best. Yo, that this was Alice was my girl. Alice was. She was. Everybody thought my... the movies were trash. She was, like... was my ooh ooh.